again, good morning po to everyone. So uh, before we start po our program this morning, we're going to have some reminders. Make sure that you are seated in a place without any distractions. And if you have any questions, kindly share it in the chat box to be answered later in our question and answer portion. Please stay in the webinar until the end of the meeting. And don't forget to accomplish your monitoring and evaluation form to be able to receive your e-certificate of participation. Again, a blessed morning to all of you and enjoy listening. <coughs> One of the things that is greatly affected while we are experiencing this pandemic is our mental health. Over 80% of the world population are now experiencing fear, stress, depression, and anxiety. And today, it is time for us to raise our awareness and shed a light to the serious matter regarding mental health. To our respective school heads, guests, and teacher participants, welcome to our webinar on mental health. It is a special program initiated by the School Governance and Operations Division of the City Schools Division of Antipolo City. To formally begin our program this morning, let us have an opening prayer to be led to us by Dr. Gloria A. Benedicto, Public Schools District Supervisor of District 2C. Ma'am Benedicto, nakamute po yung mic niyo po. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay na po, sir? Yes po. Oh, sige. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you this hour asking for your blessings and help us as we are gathered together in this webinar on mental health. We pray for your guidance in the matters at hand. We ask that you would clearly show us how to conduct our work with a spirit of joy and enthusiasm. Guide us the desire to find ways to excel in our work. Help us to work together and encourage each other for excellence. We ask that they would challenge each other to reach higher and be the best that we can be. We are sorry for the way we complain about our circumstances. Please forgive us for our bad attitude when things don't go our way. We know you have a beautiful plan for our life and have already showered us with more blessings that we can count. Thank you, Lord, for the life our health and strength you give us every day with optimism and faith prepare us as we move through this day help us to be mindful of all we do and say we are depending on you to heal our land amidst this pandemic crisis while we hold tightly to your unchanging hand in jesus name we pray Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Kamusta po kayo? And welcome to our webinar on mental health. I am your host for today, Sir Sian from Mayamot National High School. Why don't you tap the person beside you and say good morning? Kung meron ka mang katabi, batiin naman natin sila ng isang magandang umaga. At kung wala ka man pong katabi, sabihin pa rin sa sarili, good morning self, because today we are going to learn something important about taking care of ourselves, especially our mental health. And to give our welcoming remarks for this morning, let us welcome the very energetic Principal 4 of Mayamot National High School, Mr. Reynaldo El Agustin. Sa ating school's division superintendent, Dr. Christopher R. Diaz. Sa chief education program supervisor ng SGOD, Dr. Jonathan T. Domingo. At OIC chief ng curriculum implementation division, Mrs. Christina C. Salazar. Sa ating speaker ngayong araw, Dr. Michael Gerard R. Alba. Ang Chief of Field and Technical Assistance, Division and DepEd, Region 4A, Calabarzon. Public Schools District Supervisors, Ms. Lucy Cayanong at Mr. Ramil B. Parales. 
sa mga kapwa ko punong guro at sa mga guro ng iba't ibang paaralan na narito. Isang mapagpalang araw at magandang buhay sa inyong lahat. Ang webinar on mental health na ito ay napapanahon sapagkat mabibigyan nito ng sapat na kaalaman ang ating mga guro at iba pang kawani ng ating mga paaralan hinggil sa mga tamang hakbang at pamamaraan upang labanan ang stress na dulot ng COVID-19 pandemic sa ating bansa. Ipinaabot ko rin ang aking pasasalamat sa mga namamahala sa DepEd Regional at Schools Division Offices sa pagsasagawa ng napakahalagang webinar na ito para sa ating lahat. Naway marami tayong matutunan at magamit natin ang mga ito sa ating pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay sa gitna ng ating paglaban sa krisis na ito. Muli, hangad ko po ang kaligtasan ng bawat isa sa atin. Maraming salamat at magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Sir Sainz. Maraming salamat Sir Gustin sa isang napakamainit na pagtanggap po sa ating mga sa ating mga participants and of course to make us more excited and inspired to listen in our webinar for today let us have our schools division superintendent of the city schools division of Antipolo City Dr. Christopher R. Diaz. Yes, um, can you hear me? Uh Sian? Am I being yes, heard? Sir, in, yes, sir. All right. Here, yeah, uh, good morning, everyone. Of course, uh, most especially to our uh, SGOD chip, we have uh, Dr. Jonathan Domingo. Um, of course, the host school, Mayamot National High School, uh, Dr. Ray uh, Agustin, and uh, to all the PSDSs uh, present uh, today. Um, to all the school heads and uh, teachers uh, participating in today's webinar. Magandang magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Uh, when the Secretary of Education declared that learning must continue despite the global pandemic uh, that hit all of us, especially the education sector, we struggle with so much questions. Questions like, how can we continue catering to our learners in the new normal? How do we provide them with the necessary competence and skills when face-to-face -face interaction is not allowed? Do teachers and learners have the technical readiness and capability to do distance or online learning? Do we have essential resources to make this work? These are just some of the questions we grappled with as we entered the new normal of this educational landscape. Resilient as we are, we need to find ways to address these questions and the prevailing situation as well. And this is addressed through our learning continuity plan. And I believe in my own perspective that LCP should also include a strong mentor and psychosocial being program for our teachers, for our learners, and all of those who have the take for education. I surely know how hard it is to cope up with the current situation we are all into right now and its current realities. For I have been a victim of stress, anxiety, and depression. I am a living testimony to this. This has taken toll on me, on my health, my relationship with other people, with my work as well. And um, it takes an expert to provide you tips on how to manage and cope up with mental and psychological distress. And um, today, I am really happy the the note that we have with us uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, most desired speakers who is an uh, expert in this uh, concern, you know. So he will be providing you knowledge and pro tips in order to have a great state of mental and psychosocial health 
and I'm referring to the uh, ever tireless and um, very knowledgeable uh, chief of the uh, FTAD, si Dr. Michael Girard, no? na makakasama niyo po later. Kami magkasama kami kahapon when we presented our uh, Division LCP. And I'd like to thank uh, Sir Girard for uh, his comment, for his positive comments doon sa ating presentation. Thank you very much, Sir. So, um, as I continue, um, I am saying this because everything that you have planned, our teachers, our school heads, everyone who have planned something for the coming school year will just put or will just be put into ways if something bothers you. And do not let this thing get in the way uh, because our learners need you so badly at this point in time. So keep yourselves healthy physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually because when we are all healthy, it also radiates to others whom you work with, with your school heads, with your co-teachers, with your students, and the community as a whole. It is only by that time that we can assure ourselves that as educators, we are not remiss in our job and to our commitment to make learning possible at all costs. So, magandang umaga po muli sa lahat. And I'd like to recognize the effort of the SGOD through the leadership of uh, Chief Jonathan Domingo for spearheading such uh, a, a, a good you know, and, and a... Um, a, a, a great uh, undertaking like this because uh, as I've said uh, a while ago, this is very important and this should be included in our learning continuity plan because we have to make sure that our teachers, our learners, and uh, everyone else as I've said uh, uh, a while ago, has this a, is very a important great this um uh, you know, gr great uh, mental and psychological state or being because we cannot do something else if something bothers us mentally or even psychologically. So, yun lang po. Uh, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to uh, extend my mes message to everyone. I'm really longing to see you all physically, but um, right now it will be impossible. So virtually, still I can see you, and I'm happy of, um, of seeing everyone, uh, even though online lang ang ating mga ginagawang meeting and webinar. I'm still happy that everyone else is doing um, his and her job to make things possible not only for our learners, but for the whole DepEd Antipolo. Ibang klase ito. Maraming maraming salamat po and good morning everyone. Thank you sir. Thank you boss. Maraming salamat Dr. Diaz for that very inspiring message. And just like what you said sir, it is very important that kahit po we are under this pandemic, we still have to become healthy for the sake of our students. And sir, we feel the same way. Actually, we are also excited to see you sir in face-to-face uh, -face book. Now to formally acknowledge our participants, let us welcome our Public Schools District Supervisor of District 1D, Ms. Lucy Kayan. Thank you so much, Sir Siyan. To our school's division superintendent, Dr. Christopher Diaz, our SGOD chief, Dr. Jonathan Domingo, my co-PSDSS, fellow school heads, dear teacher participants from Marcelino Santos National High School, Mayamot National High School, Old Busobuso National High School, Risa National High School, Mambuga National High School, Maximo L. Gatlabayan Memorial National High School, and Buntid Dilaw National High School. And to our guest speaker, who will be introduced later, a pleasant and blessed uh, 
blessed morning to each and everyone. First, I would like to acknowledge the presence of my colleagues in the division office. We have Dr. Gloria Benedicto, PSDS District 2C, Mrs. Jenny Casaway, PSDS District 2E, Dr. Ramil Parales, PSDS District 2F. So our school heads who are present today, nakita ko na po sila kanina. So we have Mr. Rod Gonzalez, principal of um, Marcelino Santos National High School, Mr. Reynaldo Agustin, our uh, host principal, Mrs. Thelma Colocar, head teacher three of uh, Old Busubuso National High School, Mrs. Rachel Abihero, Principal One, Risa National High School, Mrs. Annalyn Raimundo, Principal Four, Bambuga National High School, Mr. Esteban Casaway, Principal Two, Maximo Gatlabayan Memorial National High School, and Mrs. Digna Orge, Principal One, Muntindilao National High School. To all our dear uh, teachers, uh, thank you so much. God bless and keep safe, everyone. Thank you so much. Our participants for this morning. Again, uh, a big shout out to, to all of our participants, not only from Miami National High School, but also participants together with their school heads from Marcelino National High School, Old Bosoboso National High School, Riza National High School, Maximo El Gatlabaya Memorial National High School, Buntin de Lao National High School, and of course, Pambuga National High School. We are now moments away to our webinar proper, but before that, we would like to remind all of our participants the following. Again, make sure that you are seated in a place without any distractions. If you have any questions, kindly share it in the chat box to be answered later in the Q&A portion. Please stay in the webinar until the end of the meeting and don't forget to accomplish your monitoring and evaluation form to be able to receive your, uh, to be able to receive your e certificate of participation. And now to formally introduce our speaker for today, let us welcome our public schools district supervisor from District 2F, Dr. Ramil B. Parales. Okay, thank you, Sir Sian. And um, magandang umaga at mabuhay po tayong lahat at pagpalaan tayo na Diyos. Uh, lalong lalo na sa ating superintendent, Dr. Christopher Diaz, sa ating SGOD chief, Dr. Jonathan Domingo, sa mga kasama ko pong PSDSS, sa mga EPSS, at sa mga school heads, principals, at sa lahat po ng participants ngayon sa araw nito sa ating webinar. It is my honor to present to you our speaker for today. Our resource speaker is a graduate of a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, obtained a Master of Arts in Educational Administration and Supervision, and presently pursuing his Doctor of Philosophy in Development Education. He is a licensed teacher and a registered psychometrician. He has served as OIC, Guidance and Testing Center, an institutional psychometrician. Integrated Basic Education, Department Principal, and, profes and Professorial Lecturer at CBE Colleges Incorporated and St. Anne College Lucena Incorporated. He also served as the Vice President for Institutional Development at CBE Colleges Incorporated, Graduate School prof Professor at St. Paul Univers University, Surigao and Far Eastern University, Roosevelt, Cainta, Rizal, and invited as lecturer in the Graduate School of Holy Angels University, handling psychology subjects and presently a guest lecturer at the Graduate of School of Batangas State University. He is a mental health advocate, a psychological first aid provider, a mental health first responder for COVID-19 at the Master's Psychology a proud member of the Psychological Association of the Philippines, co-head of the Membership Relations Committee of the Research in Psychology Special Group of the Psychological Association of the Philippines, one of the representatives in Psychological Association of the Philippines, Calabarzon, Mimaropa chapter, affiliated with the Philippine Mental Health Association, 
and one of the officers of the Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association, Quezon Chapter. He is one who spearheaded the psychosocial emotional support in the Power Office Program of the Department of Education, Region 4A, Calabarzon. Rising from the rank, he knows the nature and needs of the learners and employees, including the culture. It is highly prevalent of his dedication to the department by serving as chief of the Field Technical Assistance Division of Region 4A Calabarzon. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to all of you our resource speaker for today's webinar on mental health, Chief Michael Gerard Rodriguez Alba. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, sir, for that uh, generous introduction. So I'll be sharing with you the topic about minding our mental health, particularly facing the new normal. So allow me to remove my hat as a uh, government employee. But oh, now we're discussing this topic as... Uh, ay, wala pala ko. Hello, test mic. Okay po yung audio, sir? Medyo mahina po, Chief. Hello, hello. Mahina? Test. Oh, yes, sir. Ayan. Okay na po siya? Medyo humina po ulit. Ay, kailangan pala kapit. Hello, test mic. Narinigin na po ito pa ganito? Yes, sir. Ayan. Kailangan pala hawak ako yung microphone ko. Alright. So, as I was saying... As I was saying, I'll be discussing this po, ano, as, a, as a psychometrician, but before presenting it, um, I'll be telling muna, ano, because uh, regarding with my profession, uh, psychometrician, kami po ay in charge as regards to uh, administration, interpretation, and um, uh, performing the psychological testing. Kami po ang gumagawa ng neuroevaluation, ng neurotest ng ating mga, ng mga tao at the same time. Uh, we also provide the intervention, but we also partnered with psychologists and psychiatrists because psychologist is the one who performs therapy you know, and also performs the different interventions. And while psychiatrists uh, prescribe medicine in case that the client or the patient needs medical attention. So, yung po yung difference namin. Tayo. But of course, we are working hand in hand. Hindi po namin pwedeng gawin ang aming perform. Hindi po kami makakapag-perform without them. So, in the hospital setting, kami po yung gumagawa ng laboratory test. Ano? And then, the psychiatrist psychologist is the one who provides uh, treatment and prevention. And of course, when it comes to medication, it's the same. All right, hindi po ako makapag-present. Nag-present po. May nag-present po sa nag-share. Ma'am, ano? Ma'am, ano? Sharing. Ma'am, Laura. Yung technical, paki-unpin yung uh, kay Ma'am Laura. Malabas yung kanyang ano, presentation. All right. So, okay na po ulit. So, allow me to commit or allow us to, to commit this activity. To the Lord and whatever we do, He will establish our plans. This is actually one of my favorite Bible verses, po, which I really want to share. So I was introduced a while ago. So there are three objectives po na gusto nating punuan for today. The first one is to take active steps ano, in acquiring and maintaining in all aspects of living. So what we are going to do po today, uh, although there are some theories na discuss, but our activity will not be so so, so uh, cerebral. Ano? So this will uh, we will have uh, what do you call this? An interaction po, pwede po natin gamitin later on 
pwede po natin gamitin later on ng ating chat box kung in case na meron tayong uh, gustong sabihin. Kasi this, uh, I also need your participation so that uh, this session will be, you know, uh, kaya ang title natin, Usap Tayo. Pag-uusapan natin during the discussions yung mga bagay-bagay. Alright? In order for us to maintain wellness or uh, well-being. And the second one, we need to be resilient. Ano? We have to be resilient in facing the new normal. And uh, because of the pandemic, but in particular last March 16, if I'm not mistaken, um, do not start ano, yung ating enhanced community quarantine na nagdulot, of course, ng uh, takot sa ating lahat because we do not know, ano, naging anxious tayo. But then and again, um, uh, it's normal actually to feel that way na matakot because of the pandemic that we are experiencing. And of course, uh, it's also normal to feel that way because this is an abnormal situation, all right? And of course, uh, another objective is also to apply the different information, not only in our respective workstation, but also to apply the different information in our daily, daily lives, all right? So no point in stressing over something you can change. We have to move on and of course to be to be stronger. So this is what I am saying. Ano po? So this is actually the pictures. These pictures are actually uh, has something to do with uh, or have something to do rather with uh, with COVID-19. Ano? So lahat tayo. So may I hear from the group? You can use the chat box. Ano ba ang nararamdaman natin when we heard the news about the spread of this pandemic or the spread of this COVID, di ba? So may I hear from the group? You can also chat, ano po? Use your chat box. Ano po bang naramdaman natin nung tayo ay uh, nagkaroon ng ganitong, um, nung nagsimula ang pandemic or nagsimula ang COVID sa atin? Of course, na-develop yung fear, natakot tayo. Ano na tipong um, lahat tayo kapag may umubo sa katabi, nararamdaman natin na baka tayo magkaroon ng sakit at konting-konting uh, mga dumi na parang yung mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita, di ba? Na nagdulot sa atin ng ng trauma o nagdulot sa atin ng takot na baka tayo ay magkaroon ng ng sakit na COVID dahil sapagkat ito po ang itinuturo sa atin and of course um the government ano the government is doing its best para tayong lahat ay matulungan and we are glad na naglalabas sila ng mga guidelines para hindi tayo maapektuhan or magkaroon ng ng COVID and of course because of that reason wala tayong dapat ikatakot kailangan natin tanggalin yung fear sa atin as long as we follow protocol as long as we follow standards given to us by the, the WHO and of course the DOH and the IATF definitely hindi tayo dapat magkaroon ng worry or hindi tayo magkaroon ng anxiety regarding uh, the virus bagkos tayo po ay dapat ay mag magingat diba those are the things that uh, actually na kailangan nating i-remind and of course the government is telling us to stay at home. The reason why is para mag matigil yung pag-spread ng, ng virus. Tayo in the Department of Education, we are lucky enough kasi uh, kahit naka -work, uh, tayo ay naka-work from home and our transactions are still, uh, it also, uh, what do you call this, it continues ano, compared to other to other organization na nahamper yung kanilang transactions because of the COVID-19. It's normal to feel sad. Okay? It's normal to feel sad, to be stressed, ano? and confused, and even scared or angry during crisis. Kasi um, ito yung may mga bagay tayo na hindi natin nagagawa, particularly kung nagkaroon ng enhanced community uh, quarantine, definitely we are not allowed to go out, di ba? Most of us, most of us, in order for us to to survive, ano yung parang ma-overcome natin itong mga severe sadness that causes us to be depressed, o kaya um, our outlet, kasi mostly we go outside, eh, diba? So, yun yung mga common na uh, ginagawa natin. And of course, kung tayo yung nararamdaman natin yung mga ganitong bagay, we can also talk to people you trust, diba? It can be your friends, they can be your family, or fellow community members. Kasi, um, kailangan natin talaga na meron tayong nakakausap. And itong ginagawa nating webinar, mag-uusap tayo kasi it will really help us to stay mentally healthy kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng ng social uh, uh, what do you call this um social interaction kahit hindi man in person but of course uh, this will really help us to stay mentally healthy. So kindly reflect on this. If you receive a message or if you receive a call 
telling them or telling you na I'm not okay. I'm having suicide ideations again. And at this moment, ano po ang mararamdaman niyo? What will be your reaction? If you if you receive a text message or uh, if you receive a phone call telling you that I want to die, I want to commit suicide. Sige nga, ano ang pwede niyo isagot doon? You can use your chat box. Oh, magpapanik daw si ma'am. Of course, kasi talagang, di ba, um, if you receive this, parang pag may dito, konsensya mo, hindi ka makakatulog. Ano? Ito po yung mga common na na-encounter ko every day, every night, na I kindly hold on. I was saying, ano? So, ano yung magiging reaction natin? Magpapanig tayo. So, I was saying, uh, actually, I uh, regular ito na ito na nare-receive itong mga ganitong message. Of course, kasi um, I'm also working with a private uh, mental health institution. And I usually I, I usually attend to the uh, online uh, behave tele, telepsychology na kung saan ito yung mga kliyente namin na talagang hopeless, that they do not have someone to talk to, something like that. And as a matter of fact, last Wednesday, meron ako, actually last Monday pa, magka-chat magka kami ano, using the Viber regarding with the issue, depression. And it was started during 2018 according to this per, uh, particular client. Ano? Pero last Wednesday during our discussion, kasi it's all about relationship, Matt. It's all about relationship. It's all about love and belongingness issues. It's all about trust issues. And then all of a sudden, habang sa discussion namin, hindi pala nagmula yung issue noong 2018. Kasi bakit... It's all about belongingness issues. Trust issues. And then all of a sudden... Nakamute ba ako? Tingnan mo nga na. Habang sa discussion namin, Kasi hindi pala yun. nagmula yung issue noong 2018. Kasi... Ayun. So, and then again, um, habang nagde-discuss kami, ano, nagkakaroon kami na ng, uh, what they call this, doon sa processing ko sa kanya, uh, na-identify kasi base sa, discuss, sa aming topic, pinag-uusapan, ang problema, it was not started in 2018. Since six years old pala siya, may trauma, it, and it caused her, that's actually the pent-up emotion na, that needs to be uh, to be addressed. Ano? So, na-realize niya yun, and then I, I applied, ano, I also do CBT if you are familiar with the cognitive behavior therapy and of course the mindfulness. Um and uh, binigyan ko siya ng pagkakataon pero of course there is a series of sessions para magawa 'yon. Hindi lang siya um hindi lang siya isang araw nakausap, ano? So what uh, and then afterwards na discover namin na yun nga yung nangyari and um kailangan magkaroon ng closure yung kanyang nakaraan para maka-move forward siya because what happened in the past actually repeat itself parang na nauulit yung nangyari noong na-witness niya na na-apply niya ngayon sa kanyang buhay because na-develop sa kanya yung uh, issue as regards to to trust issue at the same time yung definition of love sa kanya it's not the love that we feel right now yung the more niyang sinasaktan ang damdamin ng isang tao that's the time na marirealize niya na mahal pala siya kapag siya iniwan. So, yun yung principle na na-develop sa kanyang isip na we, I am trying and the group is trying to to help her para bumalik. And of course, we need to address yung kanyang past. Ginagawa po yan during sessions. Another. So, of course, during the discussion, itong taong ito, kailangan at the end of the day, maging okay siya. Kasi, um, uh, so, makikita natin din sa message na uh, okay na siya somehow. So another, makikita natin dito that um, sinasabi dito ng client na hindi daw siya, hindi daw niya alam kung anong gagawin niya. I asked her, how are you? Another client to ha. Honestly, hindi ko po talaga alam kung ano po yung nangyayari sa akin but I am not feeling good. So ano ba triggers po ba? Ano po ba ang nangyayari? Ano po ba ang naiisip niyo? This is actually 
uh, causes an individual para magkaroon ng mental health issues because of preoccupation, over overthink, something like that, na nauubos yung ating energy of thinking of something. And definitely, ang hindi naman ito nangyayari without, without triggering factor, di ba? So in this case, um, nung I asked her, lumabas doon na conflict with the physical attacks and the stress commonly that cause her to become like that. And of course, meron din dito yung parang hindi na niya kayang i-handle and it feels so much, I feel so hopeless. Ano? I feel hopeless and I feel very sad. And then lately po, I'm having troubles in sleeping, overeating, and also I can concentrate with my school works. Can you imagine, estudyante po ito? Diba? So tama po, Ma'am Aida, that we need to, uh, to inform people about what we feel, especially our family. Ah, sila yung unang makakaintindi. But based on this uh, uh, post na binapakita ko sa inyo, these are actually people na talagang they feel hopeless. They feel na wala na silang malalapitan. And actually, when I ask them, did you ever inform your family regarding this matter? Did you inform your, your mother, your father, something like that? Pero uh, based doon, ayaw nilang magsalita within the family. Ano? Kaya they tend to, to consult to us tumatawag sila sa amin, sa aming hotline para makipag-usap. Kasi wala silang mapagsabihan actually. Ito yung mga tao talaga na they feel hopeless kasi they feel na wala silang social support na nakukuha sa kanilang family. Which is good na uh, talagang um, in this kind of issues, mental health issues, I think talagang the parents should also be involved regarding with this. And then of course, after our conversation, makikita natin dito na na medyo nagka-come up into ko sense na po ulit ako kahit pa paano. No, no? And of course, okay, thank you po for being a big help. So makikita natin dito na very simple lang na nakikinig tayo sa issues nila, nakikinig kami sa issues nila, and usually reply some, pero mapapansin niyo mas mahaba ang reply ng client kaysa sa text or kaysa sa reply ko. Ano? Kasi our role here is to listen and of course to process them. And this is actually... Um, uh, this uh, specialized service na ginagawa natin aside from doing the the uh, psychological first aid. We, and we are doing right now here is yung uh, emotional, the EMT, emotional first aid, the EFA. So ngayon po, pag-uusapan natin yung kalusugang pangkaisipan, hindi ba? Sapagkat tayo po particularly ay mga guro, tayo po ay nasa Department of Education, para po ma-deliver natin ng ating tungkulin lahat, definitely, lahat tayo hindi lang taga DepEd, but of course, lahat tayo dapat magkaroon ng kalusugang pangkaisipan. So pag-uusapan natin kung paano ba magkaroon ng mga kalusugang pangkaisipan or mental health. Ano po ba ang kalusugang pangkaisipan? So according to RA 11036, this is the Mental Health Act, or Bill rather, a state of well-being in which every individual realizes his or her own potential and can cope with normal stresses of life. So, may I hear from the group? Tayo po ba can cope with normal stresses of life? I hope that most of our participants ano, definitely can cope with the normal stresses of life and we can work productively and of course fruitfully and make contribution to his or our own community and our community actually started first doon sa ating mga kanya-kanyang mga tahanan and of course we can work productively so kung tayo po ay may mga nakakakilala ano or meron tayong kasamahan na dati ganito siya pero there is a sudden change on his behavior because of this pandemic akausapin natin baka sakaling tayo ay uh, makatulong sa kanya kasi ito yung mga tao ano mga tao na na nawawalan ng concentration and of course attention and these people suffering from depression commonly kasi anxiety and depression yung ating nagiging issue in this uh, COVID-19 mostly according to some researches and of course uh, those people with uh, traumatic experience may mga tinatawag kasi tayo mga episode so, na bumabal, uh, walang nagiging outlet, kaya madami po ang nade-depress today because of your outlet. Kasi most of Filipinos, kasi ang outlet nila, they go outside, they go to the mall, something like that. Those are the stress management na ginagawa nila sa buhay-buhay nila. But of course, um, tayo kasi may mga kanya-kanyang style on how to cope 
with our own anxiety and of course on our own are uh, uh, what they call this yung ating uh, depression or yung sadness sorry not the depression but the sadness itself so this is the idea of mental health ano so tayo if we are mentally healthy we have this kind of positive attitude that despite of what is happening we accept and we actually face the reality of fact and we are all positive on it Ang daling sabihin to become positive despite of all the problems that we are encountering, but mahirap gawin. But later on, I'll be showing you kung bakit ko nasasabi that despite of all the problems that we are encountering, we really need to be positive because this is actually will help us to stay mentally healthy. And self-actualization. So when we talk about self-actualization, it has something to do with satisfaction and contentment. Ano? Now, with if we uh, if we are satisfied on what who we are and for what we have right now, definitely um, makakatulong sa atin ito para hindi tayo mag-isip ng mga bagay-bagay para ma-acquire yung isang bagay, something like that. And of course, resistance to stress. Kahit na ano man ang dumating sa atin, we can manage and we can cope with stress, di ba? Sometimes, yung iba kasi kapag nai-stress sa trabaho, especially if it is a work-related stress, nagre-resign, di ba? Nagpapalipat. Alimbawa, sa DepEd, nagpapalipat ng assignment. Pero I'm telling you, DepEd is very small, di ba? Na kahit na nagpalipat ka ng isang district o nagpalipat ka ng division, sooner or later, magkikita at magkikita pa rin tayo. Parang something like that. So, hindi siya risk, hindi siya solution to a certain problem para lang maka Makatakas, but of course, we really have to face the stress and we have to manage the stress. And then we also have their personal autonomy and the accurate perception of reality. So in this case, tayo ay aware. Aware on what is happening and aware on uh, the things that we are doing. Hindi ba? And lastly, we can adapt to the environment. Especially we can face, we can face the... Uh, the new normal. Ano po? So definitely, when we talk about mental health, ito ay hindi lamang kawala ng sakit sa pag-iisip. Okay? Hindi lamang ito kawala ng sakit sa pag-iisip. So, ang kalusugang pang kaisipan ay dapat balanse. Balanse ang lahat ng aspect ng buhay. Okay? So, balanse tayo as regards to, to the different aspects physically. Okay? Social. Even spiritual and of course yung ating emotional. Later on, pag-usapan natin, bakit kaya, nakaka, bakit kaya naapektuhan ng aking emosyon? Ano ba ang pagkakakonek-konek ng ating isip, ng ating emosyon, at ang yung ating behavior, yung physical reaction natin? Lahat po yan ay magkakakonek-konekta. Sapagkat kung anong iniisip natin, definitely ito yung mararamdaman natin at definitely ito rin po yung lalabas sa atin. Alright? So, ang isang taong malusog na kaisipan, paano natin masasabi na isang tao ay may malusog na kaisipan? Pwede po bang makita sa chat? Paano natin masasabi na ang isang tao ay may malusog na kaisipan? Nagkan sa chat box po. Okay. Of course, tayo ay panatag, ano? Na-understand natin ang concerns ng ibang tao. And of course, we have peace. Definitely, ma'am. May kapayapaan sa ating pag-iisip. And of course, hindi madaling mainis or mapikon. Okay? Na-overcome ang pressure. Positive mindset. Very good. When he can decide matters at hand, empathizing with others is also a good sign. Can deal with any problem. Tayo ay nasa kalakod ng headset. But anyway, lahat naman tayo ay may pinagdaraan ng problema. But this is the way on how we handle different problems in our lives. Diba? And of course, optimistic, ano? And of course, kalmado ang pag-iisip. Handang harapin ang pangyayari kay Aya. Pangyayari with faith kay Lord. Definitely. So, ito yung way of having a mental health. So, of course, the first one here is we know. Ano, alamin natin ang sariling kakayahan at kahinaan bilang isang tao. Para magkaroon tayo, ang isang malusog na tao, 
na may malusog na kaisipan ay alam ang sariling kakayahan. Diba? Alam natin yung strength natin. Alam natin kung ano yung mga kahinaan natin. And despite of these weaknesses, ano, we can still move on. Ano, nakakayanan natin gawin at harapin ang buhay-buhay. Kasi alam natin kung ano yung ating pang natitirang kakayahan or yung ating strength. Diba? Kaya mostly sa amin pong mga clients or patients, kapag kami ay may mga ganitong hinahandle, pinipilit namin ma-realize ng tao, nitong taong ito, kung ano ba yung strength niya. Kasi this strength, ito yung pwede niyang gamitin para maka-move on. And then and again, um, hindi po kami nagbibigay ng advice, ano, even uh, psychologists or psychiatrists or even counselors, yung mga kapartner din po namin ng mga guidance counselors na we do not give a piece of advice. We do not give advice on what to do. But rather, pinaprocess natin, ano, pinaprocess natin itong mga taong ito on how to deal with the problem. And first step is, of course, determining ano pa ba ang natitirang strength sa taong ito. Diba? Pilitin. Pilitin mailabas kung ano ba ang kanyang kakayahan. And of course, to discover also yung kanyang kahinaan kung paano niya ito mapapalakas pa. So, isipin ang inyong katangian at kalakasan. Pwede po bang gamitin yung chat box? Gamitin ang isipin ang inyong katangian at kalakasan na nagbibigay pwersa sa iyo. Yung pagsulong sa buhay. Yung may share chat box. Ano ba yung mga strengths natin ngayon? Positive in everything despite of difficulties. Sige kita. Okay, positivity. Ano po yung mga katangian natin na meron tayo today? Positive na katangian or kalakasan. Na ito yung nagdudulot sa atin para ipagpatuloy yung problema, yung ipagpatuloy ang buhay kahit na ang dami-dami nating problema sa buhay. Of course, number one, we have here faith in God, di ba? Our trust, trusting in the Lord, and we, we hope, di ba? Yung our goals, syempre. Content ako kung anong meron ako. So that's good, very good po yun. And ipagkatiwala kay Lord ang lahat ng mga nagiging problema natin, of course. So, ito yung mga katangian. And of course, the family, ano, ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng strength kung bakit tayo na natin tiling matiba because, um, because of our family, because of our loved ones. The reason why we are surviving, because of those people, di ba? So, yun yung pwede natin gawing katangian. Yun yung mga pwede, yun yung mga reasons, I mean. But yung mga personal, yung mga personal strength natin, Diba? Yung mga goals, something like that, and being optimistic. So, yun yung mga katangian na meron tayo na sometimes, katulad nito sa discussions na ito, madidiscover nyo sa sarili nyo, ay, katangian ko pala to During the pandemic pala, madiscover mo na, ay, marunong pala ako magluto. Diba? Yung parang, nadiscover mo because of this uh, pandemic, yung mga bagay-bagay na mga kalakasan na nagamit mo, pero hindi mo na-discover before. Hindi ho ba? Yung iba, ang galing pala mag, ano, mag-landscape ng garden, something like that. Na, yung pala yung strength mo na hindi mo alam, na na-discover mo lang because of this pandemic. Mas lumabas, I mean, mas lumabas. Yung iba, naging, naging singers, di ba? Naging singers yung iba, yung iba, uh, anong tawag natin dito? Naging businessman, kasi, oh yes, online selling, very good. Yun yung mga na-develop natin, nakatangian sa sarili natin na meron pala tayong ganong strength na hindi natin naiisip. Di po ba? So, madidiscover natin yan and of course, these strengths will help us to overcome kung ano man yung ating mga nagiging problema. Saan tayo humuhugot ngayon ng lakas nitong mga araw na ito? Sige po, pwede ko po marinig. Saan po kayo humuhugot ng kalakasan? Of course, sa family. May patience sa anak ko, of course. Kay God. Panginoon at pamilya, very good. Thank you for, for responding kay Lord, kay Lord. Of course, tayo humuhugot lahat tayo. And because of this pandemic, di ba, um, lahat tayo natuto tayo magdasal, definitely. And we entrust our life to Him. Di ba? And of course, ano-ano naman ang mga katangian. Mostly ng response natin, family, and of course, goal and Lord. Alright? Sige, I'm waiting for your responses. Okay, welcome po. Alright. So, God and family. So, ito yung lumalabas na mga uh, reasons kung saan tayo muhugot ng lakas. Okay? Another, ano naman ang katangian mo na nakakatulong sa inyo nitong mga araw na ito? 
May I hear from the group? Mga katangian natin, of course, humility, correct, papapakumbaba, ano, at contentment, very good. Talagang um, nakontento tayo ngayon sa buhay. Aminin natin at hindi, pare-parehas tayo nakatanggap ng bigas at saka ng uh, sardinas. Isang kinakain natin during the time of pandemic, especially nung naka-ECQ tayo, na kahit may pambili ka, pero wala kang way para lumabas. So, of course, pagkapit sa Diyos, definitely resourcefulness and pagmamahal sa pamilya. At lagi tayong thankful, naging grateful tayo na thankful tayo kasi nasa DepEd tayo. Despite of all the problems that we are encountering, we are still continuing receiving our salaries kasi tayo naman, hindi naman tayo nawala ng trabaho. That's the reason. Naka-work from home tayo. So, unlike other people na talagang uh, nawala ng trabaho, but we are not comparing our lives to them. But what I'm trying to say here is that maging tayong grateful kung ano yung meron tayo ngayon. Hindi ho ba? So, natutunan din natin yung to choose to be happy every day kasi we do not know. Di ba? We do not know what will happen. Hindi ho ba? And of course, papaano pa ba natin pa kaya mapatibay ang ating sariling kalakasan? Ano yung mga pwede natin gawin? Ano yung pwede natin gawin para mas lalong mapatibay ang mga sarili niyong kalakasan? Yes, of course, talk to the to to Lord, 'di ba? We pray. Ano pa po pwedeng nating gawin? Reading Bible, that's true. Always staying positive, of course. More prayers, of course. And always look at the positive side of everything. That's true. Kasi talagang uh, ano man yung dumarating kasi sa ating problema, we have to try to to see to it na, or isipin natin na itong mga problema ang dumatin sa buhay kasi natin, there are other are solutions on it, di ba? Now, we really have to, ano lang, we really have to think of the ways later on sa discussions natin, titingnan natin, paano ba natin i-resolve itong mga personal problems na dumarating sa ating buhay? And how are we going to reframe our minds? Setting our minds to become positive despite of all the problems that we are encountering. So, ituturo natin sa inyo later. Sishare ko sa inyo na I hope na magawa natin. So sa gitna ng kinakaharap mo ngayon, yung mga natatanglakas, eh, itin natin ito na may angking lakas. May angking lakas kang malampasan ang pagsubok na ito. So all problems natin, may mga lakas tayong pwedeng paggamitin at of course kaya natin lampasan ang lahat ng problem. For us to become mentally healthy, hinaharap at tumaharap na, um, hinaharap at tumahanap ng lunas sa mga, pinag, sa mga pinagdadaan ng problema. Alright? So, instead na mag-isip, instead na ma-depress, humanap ng solution sa ating mga problems na na na-encounter. So, ito po yung eh, ating uh, paghahanap ng kalutasan at kaagapay. So, may steps tayong pwedeng gawin. Of course. So, hindi ko na po ipapagawa sa inyo something personal na po ito. But of course, in your minds, ano, in your mind, you can do this. Ilista mo yung mga problema mo sa buhay. Ano na ba mga problema natin? Ilista natin yan. And then afterwards, himay-himayin ang mga problema at tukuyin ang atiba't ibang parte nito. And after doing it, alin ba dito sa mga problema dumating sa buhay natin na nailista natin? Ang pinaka-importante na dapat ma-resolve. And then afterwards, na makita natin yung problema, ano naman yung mga possible solutions na pwede natin gawin? And of course, doon sa mga solutions na natin na-identify, ano naman yung mga, uh, susuriin naman natin yung mga solusyon, kung ano ba ang magiging epekto nito sa ating, um, sa ating, uh, ang tawag doon, sa ating mga na-identified na, na mga problema. And of course, Kapag talagang hindi natin kaya i-resolve ang ating personal issues or problem, that's the time na humingi na tayo ng tulong or impormasyon sa makakapagbigay ng luna sa ating problema. And I was just like, also would like to make an emphasis on this. Na itigil na natin yung stigma. Yung stigma na is common ng Filipino sasabihin, sira ulo, nasisiraan na ng bait, something like that. Hindi naman po yun ganun. Ano? So, itigil na natin yung stigma. Ang tayo po ay para lang din pong kumukonsulta sa dentista pag masakit ang nipin natin. Para lang din po tayong kumukonsulta sa mga doktor. 
na pag tayo ay inuuo o sinisipon, ganun din po ang pagkonsulta sa mga psychologist at sa mga psychiatrist. Sapagkat um, ito ay way para tayo ay mas talong mapaging mentally healthy. Kaya nga sabi ko last Wednesday yung kausap kong taga, actually she's from Singapore ha. She was referred friend, ano? May referral kasi, ano? Kami may mga referrals din, hindi man lahat ng, lahat ng issues ay pwede namin i-handle or, or kaya namin i-handle. So, we actually do referrals din. So, in-refer sa amin, in-refer sa akin itong presyente. And eventually, um, naging okay naman yung aming usap. And of course, meron kaming program na ginagawa for her para at least ay uh, matulungan siya. Kasi talagang hopeless na yung feeling niya. Wala kasi siya mapagsabihan talaga ng kanyang personal issues. And hindi niya kaya. Kung i-imagine natin yung problema, ay napakalaking problema ng kanyang kinakaharap and actually may preoccupation siyang pinadadaanan. So, kailap, kumonsulta na siya. Of course. So, going back, kami po naman, bago naman, pagdating sa kanila, i-refer din kayo sa amin for to do the assessment para makita naman ng mga psychologists kung ano ba yung need na intervention na na gagawin para sa inyo. But of course, then and again, huwag tayong mahiyang lumapit, no? Kasi talagang, um, baka it's about time. Alright? So, paghahanap ng kalutasan at kaagapay. Ngayon, nahimay-himay na natin ang mga problema, maaari na natin simulan ng mag-isip ng solusyon sa bawat mga bahagi nito. Bahagi rin ng paglutas ng problema ay ang pagsusuri kung nakakabuti ba o may benepisyo ba ang solusyon o kung, kung ito ba ay nakakasama o nagdudulot ng kawalan or pinsala. Para sa bawat bahagi ng problema, mag-isip tayo ng posibleng solusyon Suriin natin ano, kung ano ba ang benepisyo nito o, o kaya aling solusyon ang pinakang mabuti. Alright? So going back then again. So alamin natin yung problema natin and of course identify natin ano ba yung mga possible solutions. Makakatulong po ito para hindi tayo masyadong uh, mag-overthink or masyadong mag-overload yung ating isip sa pag-iisip ng mga kung ano-anong mga bagay-bagay. Of course, as a mentally healthy individual, nagaganampanan po natin ng maayos ang pang-araw-araw nating gawain and of course, responsibilidad. Binanggit ko po kanina, na kapag tayo ay nagkaroon ng sudden change dun sa mga pang-araw-araw nating ginagawa sa buhay, there's a possibility na, na baka tayo ay nagsasuffer na ng depression, hindi ho ba? Baka may mga kamay kamag-anak tayong gano'n na hindi naman ganito ang kanyang behavior noon, pero there is a sudden change. There is a sudden change at umabot na ng dalawang linggo ang kanyang Pagbabago, so therefore, uh, there's a possibility na baka may depression na siya. And of course, there are uh, symptoms na pwede nating makita. For example, yung reduced concentration, concentration and attention itong talang po. Then, uh, reduced self-esteem and self-confidence. Ano? Ideas of guilt and unworthiness. Yung mga yan. Bleak or pessimistic view of future. Talagang very negative siya mag-isip. And then may mga ideas na ideations of committing suicide. There's a possibility na itong taong ito ay talagang uh, nasa point na ng severe depression na gusto na magpakamatay. So yung mga suicide attempts natin, kung tatanungin natin sila, ano bang naramdaman mo bakit ka nagpakamatay? Sinasabi nila na blackout sila, something like that, na hindi nila alam. Actually talagang hindi nila alam. They are actually out of the awareness already kung bakit nila ginawa yun. So kung yung mga nag mga nag-suicide um, hanggang doon lang alam nila na sila ay nag-suicide pero yung committing of it kung kung meron kayong kilalang ganon, masasabi niyo na, masas, na masasabi nila sa inyo na hindi nila alam kung bakit nila ginawa ang gusto lang nila ay mamatay pero the action itself hindi nila alam. So meaning talagang they are out of this ano awareness. Ano no wala na sila sa ulirat. That's the term. Wala na sila sa kanilang ulirat. Kaya nila nagawa ang mga bagay-bagay na iyon. And of course, kami po, eh, tayo po ngayon na nandito sa webinar session, hindi po natin gusto na mangyari po yung mga ganitong cases. But instead, we are preventing issues in the future na magdudulot ng mental ideations sa ating mga mental uh, issues sa ating mga kasamahan. At of course, uh, iniiwasan din po natin na magkaroon tayo ng mga uh, suicide issues din in Calabar Zone. Not only in Calabar Zone, but of course, if you are aware po kasi, meron po tayong mga issues na mga nagpapakamatay and 
Uh, kami po, kami po ang FTAD and ako po personally, I, I joined the team na pumupunta doon sa mga locations na meron tayong mga kasamahang guro na nagpakamatay and most of our, my experience po is italagang sa DepEd ay yung mga nagpakamatay na nagbigti. So based on studies ka pa, kasi kapag nagbigti ang isang tao, talagang ito ay severe ang kanyang level of depression na talaga ang intent niya talaga to solve his or her own problem is to commit suicide. So we really do not want to happen it and we have three cases. We have three cases na teachers and we have um, six cases ng bata estudyante. Actually, isang group lang sila na sabay-sabay na magpapakamatay if you are familiar with that na talagang um, hindi naman siya sensationalized but we have issues on that. Ang nagturo naman sa kanila para mag-suicide, if you are familiar with the Momo Challenge during the time Momo, Momo Challenge, parang ganon ano? na talaga, pero isa sa kanila yung talaga nakapag-attempt na tumalon doon sa building ng DepEd. Actually, sa school to nangyari. And yun na nga, nakita natin and based on the study and based on the interventions na ginawa, makikita na itong batang pa lang ito ay uh, ano na, madami ng beses na nag-commit nag, ng attempt, I mean nag-attempt ng suicide. The reason why is of course family issues. Family issues and of course, walang nangyaring intervention sa kanya kaya uh, ni-refer natin po ito mga client, ito mga batang ito sa 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 kinauukulan para at least ay mabigyan sila ng treatment something like that. Nagiging aktibo din at bahagi ng komunidad, of course, tayo po hindi lang po ang komunidad natin ay sa labas. We have to start first our community at home, 'di ba? So kung nagagampanan po natin yung trabaho natin sa ating mga tahatahanan, congratulations po sa inyo sapagkat um na andun po tayo sa state ng tayo ay mentally healthy. Ano-ano po ba ang mga pangarap natin? Ano po ba mga pangarap ninyo pagkatapos itong krisis na to? Pwede po bang makita sa chat box? Let us try to think, reflect, and, and of course, change. Ano ba ang mga pangarap natin after this crisis? Matapos ang master ad. Hello, sir. Yes. Apo. Hello po. Yes. Yes sir, ito po yung mga question, ito po yung mga sagot po ng ating mga participants po share ko lang po sa inyo. Ayun po sabi po okay. ni Ma'am Elmido matapos ang kanyang master all. Ayun quality time right. sabi naman po ni Ma'am Maricar Diego, quality time with family. Sabi naman po ni Ma'am Misaya G, ayan serve God more. Ayun po. Sagot naman po ng Ma'am Templo is house renovation. Wow. <laughs> finish master. So, mukhang, mukhang marami po tayong mga teachers, sir, na sobrang determined po ngayon na matapos ang kanilang master po after this pandemic po talaga. Sabi naman po ng mga free. Okay, congratulations. Free. But of course, we... Yes po, sir. Yes, of course, uh, madami tayong gustong gawin na pagkatapos itong crisis na to, na talagang yung iba dito nakikita din natin as you made mention na gusto nilang mag-travel, di ba? Pumasyal with the family and friends. So ito yung mga gusto natin gawin pagkatapos natin ng crisis na to. So meaning to say, naka, nakaset yung ano natin, goal tayo, naka -goal or, nakaset ang goal natin na talagang ito rin yung makakapag nakakatulong sa atin para harapin, ano? harapin ang mga pangyayaring ito in the new normal particularly. Kasi we have dreams, we still have dreams and congratulations kasi I may say na talagang everyone is still in the normal state. Alright. Makauwi ng Mindanao, sabi ni Sir Animer. Nood ng TV, comedy. Actually, I, I, I usually watch comedy movies. Ano? At the same time, kahit yung mga sa YouTube na mga nonsense na na mga, alam mo yun, yung mga uh, prank prank na ganyan. Uh, yun yung way ko ano of, uh, on how to to relieve from stress kasi yun yung pwede na natin gawin ano especially kung nasa bahay lang tayo work from home so mag YouTube something like that yes of course yung makipag face to face as estudyante and of course yung here ng mask that's actually one of the things na gustong gusto natin gawin kahit ako gusto gusto ko na rin pumunta makasimba although I experience na rin talaga naman to go to the church pero yung the actual mask yes na ay hindi pa. Alright. Marami so, naman po din sir, nagsasabi po dito na mag-visit ang kanilang parents sa 
provinces, sabi naman po ni Ma'am Templo, magkaroon daw po ng boyfriend. Ayan po. Pero joke lang daw po wow. yun, sir. <laughs> <laughs> talagang love life pa rin po talaga. Kailangan eh. intayin uh, yung matapos yung pandemic. <laughs> Opo, yes sir. Totoo po yan. Pwede nyo naman po naroon yan. Alright. Pwede nyo pong gawin magkaroon ng love life kahit may pandemic. Ano? Meron naman tayong mga online. <laughs> Opo, sir. Ano pa rin po tayo. Online dating, work from home, ganun po. <laughs> Alright. So, pwede yung gawin. Alright. So, ano ba yung mga naidulot na magagandang pagbabago sa buhay natin na nais natin ipagpatuloy kinabukasan? Yung mga because of this pandemic, tinan natin, ano, try to reflect, ano ba yung mga positive na nangyari sa buhay natin because of this pandemic na gusto nyo nang ipagpatuloy? Well, that's a great question, sir. Ano po? Let's see po kung ano po yung mga sagot po ng ating mga participants. More okay. time with the family that's ko. True. Yes, sabi po ni sir. That's true. Practice proper health Actually, according diba? to Mom Ko. Alright. Kasi alam nyo, yeah. di ba tayo ngayon na-realize natin na nasa bahay tayo. Nakita natin in the three months na mostly nasa work from home, naka-work from home tayo. Nasubaybayan natin ang mga tao sa ating kangatahanan. Tama po ba? And ang sarap isipin na because of this pandemic, especially sa mga nanay, nagkaroon ka ng time na ipagluto ng paboritong ulam yung mga bata at the same time. Um, yung ating husband na bigyan natin ng ng time na kung ating re-reflect nung nagtatrabaho tayo sa ating mga schools parang nawalan tayo mostly ng time with them di ba kasi mostly uh, papasok tayo ng umaga then lalabas tayo ng hapon hindi na natin nakita na at hindi na natin nagawa yung mga ginagawa natin before if we are kung tama po ba ako na pwede natin i-reflect na para nagre-reflect tayo siguro na kailan ko ba ba huli kailan pa ba, ba yung huling araw na napagluto ko. Yung mga simpleng gano'n na napagluto ko ng pagkain itong aking family. Especially, kailan ba yung huling time na nakasabay ko silang kumain sa pananghalian? Yung mga bagay na gano'n. very simple pero gusto natin ipagpatuloy na kahit wala ng pandemic na nagkakaroon tayo ng time sa ating mga family. And of course, nagkaroon tayo, natuto tayo mag-ipon. Tama, kasi wala din tayong choice. <laughs> kahit na, di ba, alam mo yun, na Dito sa pandemic na to, talagang mahirap mabuhay pala kapag wala tayong pagkukunan. Pero kahit naman meron tayong pagkukunan, uh, wala pa rin naman tayong way para lumabas at para makabili. And of course, yung proper health. Tama, that's true. Natutunan natin to na hindi tayo dapat pala, kailangan pala lagi tayo naguhugas ng kamay, something like that. Yung mag-alcohol tayo. And these are the things na ating gusto ipagpatuloy after this pandemic. Ito yung mga positive Ito yung mga positive attitude na naituro sa atin because of this pandemic na talagang makakatulong sa atin kung ito'y pagpapatuloy natin kinabukasan. Sir, so, so hello yung po. So, sa mga mga pag-asa at alalahanin niya para sa kinabukasan. Oh, yes? Yes po. Yes, uh, actually, sir, share ko lang din po yung mga sagot po ng ating mga participants from YouTube ah, yes, kasi people yes, are also live from YouTube. Ang ganda ah, okay. po ng mga sagot po nila, of course, uh, papagpatuloy po yung business na matagal na nilang pinangarap kasama ng kanilang family. Maging okay. health conscious daw po, na after na even after this pandemic, maging maganda rin daw, uh, parang ipagpapatuloy po nila yung maging health conscious sila. Continue yeah, to value true. small things. Yan, mas maging makapamilya. Totoo po ito, sir, na kasi uh, lalo na po dahil most of us are work from home, marami po talaga sa atin ngayon dito na mas naging close po sa ating mga families. Ayan. So, ito po yung mga sabi ng ating mga audience po, ng ating mga participants from YouTube po. Alright. So, at least, nagkaroon tayo ng, ng realizations, ano, na despite of what is really happening, um, nagiging positive yung way natin on how to think about it. Di ba? Something like that. So, ngayon, importante po ito ng pag-asa, yapapas din ang lahat ng ito. So, paano ba tayo magkaroon ng mga malulusog na pangkaisipan? Sige nga, may I hear from the group sa inyo, as, as an individual, paano, paano tayo magkakaroon ng isang malusog na pangkaisipan? O kalusog na, ka, malusog na kaisipan? Oh, that's a great question ulit, sir. No po? Wait lang po. Tingnan po natin po yung mga sagot ng ating po mga participants. Ayan. 
Sabi po ni Ma'am, uh, sabi, tama po, sabi po ni Ma'am Kong, maintain proper sanitation even after the pandemic. Ayan, like right. keep on sanitizing, which we often forget. That's true. Ayan po, maging optimistic. All right. Feed your mind with positivity and love from family. Ignore negativity. Absorb positivity. Ang ganda po ng sinabi. Huwag maging negative thinker. Maging positibo. Yes, Learn to ignore something that you cannot control. Ayan. Practice the peace of mind. Be realistic and rational. Ang ganda po ng sinabi ng isang participant po. Avoid toxic people. Grabe. Right. Talaga, we really have to unplug ourselves ano, with those toxic people. Yes Pero po. Pero eventually talaga... Um, Especially to mga toxic people na to, kapag naman nawala sa atin, nahanap-hanapin natin sila. Totoo, sir. Talagang part po sila ng ating ecosystem. <laughs> and we cannot go without, we cannot, ano eh, parang especially kung office mates natin to, especially kung naandun tayo. Uh, aside from being of, to avoid them, siguro we have to manage on how to deal with them. I'm not telling you to become plastic, ano, but we can train our minds, we can train ourselves on how to deal and how to manage our emotions, handling those toxic people. Kasi sa, especially sa trabaho natin, para tayo nasa showbiz, anong dyan, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. Sa trabaho kasi natin talaga, we deal with behavior. We deal yes, with po. human behaviors. So in this case, we really have to, 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 ano tawag nun, to train our mind on how, how to deal with these difficult people and how mm. to manage with, how to manage them. Kasi talagang uh, part yon and yun naman habang tumatagal tayo sa ating trabaho in the in this department definitely we we'll learn naman how to deal with these people aside from the trainings ano aside from the trainings um especially mga conflict management ano so we can deal with them naman as long as napapagdaanan natin yun kasi based on experience din naman yun na hindi naman siya basta-basta nababasa sa libro but of course uh, natututo tayo based on the experience that we had especially handling those people Maganda rin dito yung nakita natin na connect with God and of course yung Bible reading, di ba? So yun yung mga bagay-bagay na, actually lahat tayo natuto tayo magbasa ng Bible, ano? Especially um, because of this pandemic. And ayun, may mga nagre-reply din dito na kapit lang. <laughs> kapit lang yes. daw. Right. Yes po sir. Actually, marami din pong nagsabi dito na marami din nagsabi po dito sa atin na think that nothing is permanent, even our problems kasi nga po, change inevitable nowadays and of course yeah. read inspirational books clean your surroundings to have positive vibes and ito lang po sir just to sum up everything be happy yeah. all right that's true you have to be happy lang despite of all the problems despite of all the negativities that we are actually experiencing right now kailangan positive lang and of course um sasabi natin ang madali lang isipin yung positivity madali lang pong gawin ang pagiging positive later on ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano um you try to you try just try your mind to, to to set your mind rather na pagkagising na pagkagising sa umaga you just identify at least three things ano three things na grateful ka for example naggumising ako ng mahal ng healthy secondly yung mga basic meron akong masarap na breakfast di ba ano pa ba yung grateful ka na dahil ah uh, buhay at malusog ang iyong pamilya. So, those are the three things na pwede mong isipin pagkagising sa umaga. Hindi ba? So, yun yung mga ways. Ano? And of course, according to Mental Health Association, LIPA chapter, they identify the first thing na, na pwede natin gawin to stay mentally healthy is alagaan ang ating katawan. Di ba? Kumain tayo ng sapat at masusustansyang pagkain. Definitely. Kasi, uh, all the nutrients kasi, kung pag-uusapan natin is all about um yung mga fluids sa ating brain mostly kasi kaya nagkakaroon ng mga uh, emotional disturbances ano because of the fluid bumababa yung serotonin level natin ng mga taong ito according to psychiatrists uh, because they do the testing about it bumababa ang serotonin level so because of that reason ang reason kasi kung bakit mababa ang serotonin level hindi nagbabalan sa mga fluids is because lack of nutrients lack of vitamins so what they are doing nagre-reseta sila ng mga gamot, mga dopamine, something like that, depakot, yun yung mga medicine na nire-reseta nila para manumbalik yung fluid. Kaya meron din tayong mga 
uh, clients or patients na nire-refer natin sa kanila sapagkat sila yung mas nakakaalam kung ano yung possible na medications dito sa mga taon suffering na ang dahilan kung bakit sila uh, nagsasuffer for emotional disturbances because of some um, issues and concerns. Kasi po tayo po ang psychologists kami and even guidance counselors, uh, ang ginagawa lang natin is all about the non-pharmaceutical interventions. Okay? NPIs, yun yung mga a therapy, something like that because the psychiatrist is the one doing it. Magkaroon ng sapat na tulog is also very important. Kaya lang kung kayo tayo ay preoccupied, marami tayong iniisip na problema, definitely hindi tayo nakakatulog sa gabi. Siyempre, hindi naman sa umaga. Of course, sa gabi, hindi tayo nakakatulog sapagkat tayo ay isip ng isip, di ba? So, as much as possible, uh, magkaroon tayo ng proper sleep and of course, mag-exercise na angkop sa kakayahan ng ating katawan. Another, alamin kung paano harapin ang stress, di ba? We should not, ano, hindi tayo dapat tumatakas, ano, we should not avoid them, but of course, we have to face them and of course, we need to manage our stress. Humanap tayo ng mga bagay o gawain na makakatulong sa pagharap sa ating mga problem, problema. Okay? Magbigay at humingi ng suporta sa mga taong pinagkakatiwalaan o sa mga taong may parehas na pinag dadaanan. Kasi talaga um, uh, i-share natin kung ano yung naiisip natin. We share our uh, yung, to, yung ano yung thoughts natin. I-share natin sa ating pinagkakatiwalaan kasi uh, kung ikaw ay punong-puno na ang isip mo at wala, ka at wala ka ng matakbuhan it's better for you na sabihin na natin. Ano ba talaga yung pinagdaraanan mong problema? So tayo dito, di ba sabi ko humingi ng suporta. Kung mapapansin nyo yung drawing Yung, yung picture, so yung orange, ikaw yan. Okay? Ikaw yan. And then, tingnan natin, sino-sino ba yung mga tao na pwede natin lapitan kapag ito yung ating mga problema. Hanapin natin yung social support natin. Sino ba yung pwede natin puntahan? Sino ba yung pwede natin kausapin? Kapag may hinaharap tayong problema, mahalaga rin tandaan na hindi tayo nag-iisa. Okay? Hindi tayo nag-iisa sa pagharap ng mga hamong ito. Mahalagang tandaan na mayroon tayong mga taong laging sumusuporta sa atin. Maaaring sila ay pamilya natin, maaaring kaibigan, maaaring kapitbahay, o kaya from uh, the barangay or even from the organization. Kaya kung ikaw, sino, kung ikaw, sino ang mga nagbibigay suporta sa iyo, isulat sa mga uh, isulat ang mga pangalan sa pinakanggit ng dilaw na bilog. Isulat naman ang pangalan ng mga tao, grupo, organisasyon na maaari mong puntahan kapag kailangan mo ng anumang uri ng suporta. Sapagkat hindi tayo nag-iisa, okay? Sa pagharap sa problema, may mga nakakatulong sa atin na tumingi at magbigay ng suporta din sa, sa iba. So, better nating alamin, sino ba yung pwede natin maging social support group? Kaya I may also suggest, ano, sa ating mga schools, pwede po tayo mag-create ng group. Ito yung mga psychosocial support group with the help of our DRRM. Uh, train po sila regarding this to do the the uh, MHPSS. So, in this case, meron tayong grupo na pwede nilang lapitan kapag magkaroon sila ng, ng mga personal issues, pwede silang, uh, sila yung handang makinig. Ano? Handang makinig sa mga problem problema. And of course, pwede rin po natin itong gawin sa mga sadyante. Pwede tayong magkaroon ng mga peer counselors, ano, mga student counselors natin sa school. So, yun yung mga suggestions na I think it's very timely to na magawa pa kasi especially kung magpapasok ka na para at least they are prepared and I think uh, Division of Antipolo is really prepared regarding with this particularly doon sa paghandle sa ating mga bata and of course although part na kasi ng DSWD yung pag-orient sa mga parents regarding with this pero I may also suggest that other parents must also be aware about mental health kasi kaya sila lumalapit yung mga bata itong mga sujamte itong mga taong ito sa sa amin, personally, uh, through text or through call, kasi hindi nila masabi sa kanilang mga magulang. And I think the parents should also be informed about this. So at least, at least aware sila kung paano nila i-handle yung kanilang mga anak-anak kung may mga problema dumarating sa buhay-buhay. Kasi isa sila sa mga group or social support ng ating mga sarili-sarili. So alamin ang mga bagay o sitwasyon na nagdudulot sa sarili ng iba't ibang uri ng damdamin tulad ng galit, lungkot, saya o takot. At pag-aralan kung paano maipapahayag ang mga damdamin na ito sa paraang angkop sa ating sitwasyon. So 
Sige nga, pwede po bang makita? Ano ba yung dahilan kung bakit tayo nagiging masaya? Sige nga, nowadays, bakit kayo masaya ngayon? Ano ba yung nagdulot ng kasayahan sa inyong mga buhay-buhay? Okay, so sir, uh, your question is about ano po yung mga nagiging source of happiness yes. ng ating mga participants, tama po ba? So tingnan po natin yes. yung kanilang mga sagot. Okay, sabi po ni Ma'am Gaston, family daw po. Uh, sabi naman po ni Ma'am Templo, syempre po pera ang kanyang source of oh, uh, of happiness. Ah, okay. Opo. May uh, walang sakit at sabi naman po ng ating mga viewers po from YouTube, uh, from YouTube rather, we have uh, ang source of happiness daw nila kasama ang kanilang family, husband daw po nila. At syempre pera daw po kasi kakasahod lang daw po. Kumpleto ang family. <laughs> Ayan, okay. more time with the family. Ayan po, love, love, love. Ayan lang po ang sagot ng ating mga viewers po from YouTube. Ayan so, po, shout out ayan. po pala po sa ating mga viewers po sa YouTube po. Ay, hello sa mga nasa YouTube. Good morning. Sir, how about you? Ano po yung nagpapasaya sa inyo? Ako po, sir? Yeah. Sir, ako po ang tinatanong nyo po, ano po? Yes, yeah, but actually, yeah. for what makes me happy, of course, is seeing, uh, of course, seeing my family healthy, uh, seeing, uh, seeing them healthy, seeing them na masaya is uh, makes me happy as well. And of course, kapag alam ko din po ng aking mga kaibigan sa trabaho ay masaya at palusog po at wala pong problema, ay yun din po ay nagbibigay din po sa akin ng saya. Ayun oh, po, okay. sir. Oh, nakakatuwa naman yung... Sir, may balik ko po yung tanong. Yes, sir. Ay, wait lang po. Kaya yun po, sir, what makes you happy po? Ako, actually, isa lang naman yung happiness natin. And, of course, the family. At saka yung personal mm -hmm. natin. Siyempre, yung mga tao sa paligid natin, if they are happy, even yung mga, uh, kasi I'm single, ano, kapag nakikita natin that these people are really happy sa mga small things, I really, uh, when you are appreciated, talagang, it makes me, ano, I really feel happy on that, ano, on that way. Parang, wow. you know, Maraming salamat sir sa pag-share ng inyong ano po, ng inyong source of happiness. Pero sir, i-share ko lang po dito yung sagot po ng ating chief SGOD oh, ng SDO Antipolo. Ang sabi daw po niya, ang source of ang happiness niya of course is family at ang kanyang kaakit-akit na asawa. Wow, shout out po kay Ma'am Irene Domingo. Talagang kayo daw po ang source of happiness ng ating SGOD chief. Thank All you sir. Right. So talagang kaakit-akit na asawa. So of course, talaga 'yan yung ating source of happiness. It's either family ano And ano naman yung nagdudulot sa atin ng galit? Sige nga, gusto ko makita. So kung kanina po, uh, ulit po sa ating mga viewers, sa ating mga participants, kung kanina source of happiness, ngayon naman po ang tanong po ni Sir, ano po ang nagiging source of, ng ating anger? Ayan. Tingnan po natin yung sagot po ng ating mga viewers here in YouTube. Ayan, medyo wala, uh, wala pa po silang... Uh, Ayaw nilang sabihin yung nagkukos ng galit. Right, ayan, sabi po ng ating ano, frustration, yan mga backstabbers, ayan po, okay. grabe po, medyo may hugot po yung sagot po ni ma'am. Toxic people, ayan. The government? Ano ba yun? Ano ayan, meron naman po dito nagsabi po, meron po nga nagsagot po dito po sa YouTube, mga taong mapagsamantala, ayan po, mga chismosa at toxic people. Grabe po yung mga sagot po nila, sir, parang may mga hugot po talaga. Right, ayan po, meron talaga. naman po nagsabi po, Ubus na po ang stock ng food. Ito naman po mga chismosa at ingiterang tao. Ayan. <laughs> Siyempre, bad news po. Meron naman po nagsabi, mabagal na LIS. Grabe, okay. talagang naisama pa po ang LIS. Opo. Meron naman po sa, uh, nagsabi, pag natatalo daw po sa Mobile Legends. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Ayan po, matagal. Palantera. Opo, matagal na delivery ng Shopee at Lazada. Ayan, irresponsible na people, overuse of power, gumagawa ng mga kwento. Grabe po sir yung mga sagot po sa ating, oh. grabe po yung sagot ng mga viewers po natin from YouTube, pero nga medyo may hugot po, kahit Para dito ma, po sa ating Google Meet. Para mostly chismoso, chismosa talaga yung pinag-really. So di, ngayon, dahil yan yung sources ng galit natin, ano yung process ko lang, yan yung sources ng galit natin, Paano natin inaharap to? Ano yung mga ways natin in order for us to overcome itong mga galit na nararamdaman natin sa mga chismosang to, sa mga stubborn stubbers na to? So, how do we deal with them? Sige nga, I just want to hear from you. 
Ayan po, again po sa ating mga viewers, ang tanong po ni Sir, how to deal with these kinds of people? Ayan. Ayan, sabi po ng ating viewer po, pray. Ah, grabe. Pag-pray daw po sila, Sir. Ignore them, di ba? Ignore Kasi, them. Kung bakit, kung bakit ko tinanong sa inyo? Kasi most of the galit or yung reasons kung bakit tayo nagagalit, ito yung mga bagay na hindi natin control. Correct? Yes po, yes sir, okay. tama po naman yun. Ipapakastress tayo kay Shopee, ang tagal ng delivery nila, but of course, hindi natin control yung process ng kanilang delivery. And second, yes po, sir. Uh, meron dito problema sa government. Uh, siguro hindi naman lahat ng nasa gobyerno, of course. Um, there are some na hindi natin control. Talagang, uh, at nagagalit tayo kasi, uh, especially sa mga news, di ba, na mga binabalita nila. Pero kung ating babalikan at ititinan natin, um, Ito yung mga bagay na hindi natin kayang i-control. Kasi yes, sir. Kasi kung nandiyan our issues and problems, dapat uh, may control tayo. Kasi kung talagang mm -hmm. ang issues ay wala na natin, hindi na natin control. Kung nabawa ang problema, nagagalit ka dahil wala tayong vaccines for the COVID. Nagpakasipas yes, ka, nag-hysterical ka, pero tayo mismo sa sarili natin, alam natin na we cannot control about. We do not have the control on it, di ba? So, yes, I will have ignore. Kasi ang ating titingnan natin dito dapat when we do something, especially sa problem solving natin at saka dito sa ating finding solutions, dapat, di ba na-mention doon, na meron tayong control. Kung wala tayong mm -hmm. control, definitely may hirapan tayo to, to, to attend to it. So yun yung mga bagay-bagay. So dapat pag-aralan natin kung paano natin maipahayag ang damdamin na ito na para ang konsekutasyon. Kung tayo ay nagagalit, definitely, especially kung tayo ay nasa work, hindi natin ito dapat pinapakita, hindi ho ba? Especially yung behavior na nagsisigaw tayo. It's not, it's not healthy. It's not healthy, but I'm not telling you na huwag mong ilabas kasi it's not healthy din naman ang sarili nyo. Pero of course, we have to look for a proper area or proper uh, tawag nun sa isang lugar kung saan natin pwedeng ilabas yung ating emosyon o yung ating nararamdaman. Especially Dr. Alba, excuse me po. Sir, okay. yung daw pong audio po. Yan, sir. Yung Ayan. medyo mahina lang daw po yung audio, audio niyo po. Okay na po, oh. sir. Sige, sige. Thank you. Okay, so, wala po. ko kaya kagalito. <laughs> Opo, oh, sir. Yes po. So, ito yon. So, konektado kasi ang ating isip according to Katatagan Online ng Psychological Association of the Philippines. Konektado ang ating isip, damdamin at kilos. Kung tayo ay may mabigat na iniisip, definitely, at negatibong paniniwala o pananaw na apektuhan nito ang ating emosyon. Okay? So, maaaring malungkot, maging malungkot or stress o kaya ay mararamdaman na nalulunod na sa emosyon. Maaaring maapektuhan na, o kaya ay nagiging paralisado. Kasi kapag inisip natin ang problema na hindi natin kaya itong lutasin, definitely affected yung ating damdamin. So because of that reason, ang ating mararamdaman ay yung kawalan ng pag-asa at tayo, ang ating magiging reaction or action, I mean, is susuko tayo. Di po ba? So halimbawa nito, sa isang opisina, isang school head, halimbawa, tapos tinatawagan mo yung iyong teacher, sa pagtawag mo, hindi siya uh, sumasagot. Commonly, di ba, ano ang ating naiisip? Iniisip natin na ayaw talagang sagutin, di ba? That's the way we think, kaya aminin natin hindi. Kahit tayo, kahit sa office, di ba? O kaya iniiwasan, ini-ignore yung call natin. That's the way how we think, ha? And then afterwards, ano mangyayari? Ano magiging damdamin natin doon? Ang damdamin natin doon, maiirita tayo, magagalit tayo. Tama? Yun yung madedevelop sa ating damdamin. And then, what will be your reaction now? What will be your action? Kapag ito yung naisip mo, ito yung naramdaman mo, the moment na sagutin niya yung tawag, magagalit ka na. Why are you not answering my call? I've been calling you three times and yet you're not answering my call. And this is urgent. Di ba? May mga ganon. Pero, nagalit ka na, hindi ba pwede na, ay sir, pasensya, sabihin sa'yo, sir, pasensya na po, kasi ganito, ganyan. Hindi ba pwede ang isipin natin kung bakit hindi na-attend, hindi siya nakasagot sa tawag, hindi ba natin pwede isipin na baka nakasilent yung phone? First. Second, Baka naman itong cellphone niya ay hindi niya bitbit, something like that. O kaya meron lang siyang ginagawa. So yun yung mga bagay na, na uh, i-train natin dapat yung ating isip na isipin yung positibo, yung positibo ng mga bagay-bagay rather than 
reacting negative, negatively. Kadalasan kasi, ang ating pong iniisip, ano, kadalasan ang ating mga iniisip ay isang pananaw lamang. At hindi ito nag-iisang katotohanan. Halimbawa, ano ang iyong nakikita sa picture sa kanan? Di ba maaaring sabihin natin na ito ay babae? Maaari din naman sasabihin natin na ito ay lalaki or matanda or kontrobida or malungkot na tao. So lahat ng ito ay may iba't ibang pananaw. At paraan sa pagtingin. Parang sa ating buhay, maaaring madamdamin ng iba't ibang pananaw sa mga pangyayari. Kapag may pangyayaring natural para sa atin na bumubuo ng pananaw tungkol doon ang ating nararamdaman, ulit, Kapag may pangyayari, natural para sa atin na bumuo ng pananaw tungkol doon. Ang ating pakiramdam, emosyon o damdamin ay depende kung ano ang pananaw natin. Example, ang pangyayari dito. Base sa ating example, frontliner ang anak ko. So ano magiging pananaw? Kapag ang pananaw mo ay ganito, naku, baka mamatay ang anak ko. So ano magiging pakiramdam mo? Definitely, ang magiging pakiramdam nitong taong ito ay takot at hindi mapakali or magiging balisak. Sapagkat tinignan niya yung pangyayari in a negative way, negative yung pananaw niya. So therefore, kung atin titignan, um, magiging pakiramdam niya ay negative din. Hindi ho ba? So, pwede ko mong makinig or makita sa ating mga kasamahan dito kung paano natin i- Paano tayo tumingin ng isang pangyayari o isang uh, pananaw? Meron po ba? For example, uh, mag-isip tayo ng isang pangyayari. Pandemic. Paano natin tinignan ng pandemic na to? Okay, sir, let's wait for the answers of our participants. Di ba tayo minsan, o lahat tayo siguro nakita natin na may COVID-19, ang naramdaman natin ay takot, tama ba? Yes ang po. Ang panahon natin, uh, kapag lumabas tayo ng bahay, tayo ay magkakasakit, tama ba? Yes, sir. Ang Normally panahon... po, yan po yung nagiging reaction po ng tao talaga. Fear, stress, parang ganun po. Yun po yung nagiging ano po nila, outlook po nila or naging response po nila initially when the COVID-19 arise. May mga nagsabi naman po, sir, na ang kanilang pananaw po sa bagay na ito ay lahat ng ito ay may layunin at plano ang Diyos. Alright. Ayan po. May nagsabi so, naman po na hindi daw po nila makita yung hinaharap. And may nagsabi naman po na ang kanilang pananaw po sa bagay na ito, it gave them the, it gave them the time to reflect more sa kanilang mga buhay-buhay, sir. Alright. So, may mga examples din tayo. For example, uh, ano ba mga common issues sa DepEd regarding uh, on how we see negative things? Ano? Parang alimbawa, uh, during enrollment, ano? Uh, uh, dito na lang sa office namin, ano, sa skeletal workforce na office ng regional office. So, ang pananaw marahil ng iba ay uh, natatakot pumasok. Tama po ba? At ang pananaw naman ng iba, katulad ko personally, ang pananaw ko is that um, because of the covid talagang uh, first two weeks or first three weeks ng work from home ay talagang okay lang. Normal pa naman. Kasi it's just like having a vacation na parang nasa bahay. Pero nung naglumalampas na ang, ang mga nag-iisang buwan na, na naka-work from home, parang ang ang thinking na nakakaramdam na tayo ng boredom. Tama po ba? Nakakaramdam tayo ng boredom. And of course, kung titinan natin yung pananaw natin na tayo ay uh, kapag tayo ay pumasok sa office, tay kami ay magkakasakit definitely ang pakiramdam namin matatakot tama ba so in my case my in my personal case kung ang pangyayari ay skeletal workforce need to report kami ako sa office so ang pananaw ko doon is that uh, positive ako kasi kapag nasa office ako magagawa ko yung mga works kasi especially ang uh, experience ko sa work from home na may mga documents or may mga uh, data na kailangan ko na nasa office um ngayon pag may hiningi sa akin data, mas madali ko siyang nagagawa although I have my laptop at home. Pero mismo yung database ng mga reports ay nasa mga cabinets. Definitely, hindi naman namin pwedeng iuwi lahat ng mga documents sa aming mga bahay-bahay. So in that case, um, nagiging positive 
And of course, ang pananaw ko, hindi ako magkaka-COVID. That's my thinking. Mm-hmm. That's my personal uh, thinking. Hindi ako magkaka-COVID. Bakit? As long as I follow the standards, as long as I follow the protocol, definitely, hindi ako magkakaroon ng sakit na COVID. So, ano magiging pakiramdam ko ngayon? I enjoy in the office. Kasi, actually, this is my my fifth week in the office since na nagkaroon, hindi lang kami nakapag-office ako personally during May kasi Quezon Province is in a CQ so we are not allowed to go out of the province ng mga boundaries dahil na lift at nag-GCQ na from May 16 if I'm not mistaken until today ay naandito ako sa office and kami naman dito, ang skeletal workforce namin, it's either weekly pero I personally chose choose to to report every every week dito sa office kasi yung pakiramdam na na I am happy in the office and yung pakiramdam ko na positive na walang mangyayari sa akin that brings me here na walang takot sa COVID as long as I follow protocol but of course I follow the standard kaya paglabas ko ng office pagdating ko sa aking dorm definitely I'm just, I'm just sharing this, the story ano um may sar- may chinela kung pampasok ng bahay may mga ganun na kong style na ginawa and of course Uh, yung, yung inuhubad ko yung damit ko doon pa lang sa pagpasok sa dorm. And then, may damit na akong pinaprepare para pagpasok ko mismo ng bahay ay, uh, ay uh, ano tawag natin doon, wala akong mabring na mga virus kung meron man kasi hindi naman natin nakikita. So, kung titignan natin, parang, parang OA, di ba? Sasabi ng OA naman, it's not being OA. Yun yung standard na dapat sundin na para hindi tayo magkaroon ng sakit. Kasi commonly, sa pangyayari ng pandemic na to, nagkos talaga to ng fear sa lahat ng tao na tatakot tayo na lumabas ng ating mga tahanan sapagkat uh, ayaw natin na magkaroon tayo ng ng COVID. But then and again, then and again, ano, um, kung ano po yung sasatingin natin, hindi natin naman siyempre, kung ang pananaw mo ay ganon, for example, uh, ang pananaw mo ay hindi maganda or negative siya, so ang magiging pakiramdam natin ay negative. So in this case, isang paraan ng pag-aalaga sa ating sarili ay ang pagpansin sa takbo ng ating isip. Okay? Mga paniniwala o mga pananaw na maaaring makaapit sa ating damdamin. So tuwing nakakaramdam tayo ng mabigat na emosyon, subukin mong tanungin ang sarili. Ano kaya ang nasa isip ko at, at na nagtutulak sa akin na maramdaman ng emosyon ito? May iba pa kayang pananaw na maaari kong isipin? Pananaw na maaari kong isipin maliban kung ano, kung ano ang naisip ko ngayon. Ano kaya ang iba pang paraan na pwede kong atingnan sa sitwasyon para hindi naman maging mabigat ang aking pakiramdam. So ito, tinatawag natin ito yung reframing. Ano? Reframing our minds, changing our thoughts, the way how we see things into something positive. Ang ibig sabihin ng reframing ay pagbabago o pagbatikos ng pananaw sa ating sitwasyon para magkaroon ng mas mabuting pananaw. Parang before you make an action, for example, um, galit ka. Minsan nga, kahit wala namang ginagawa sa'yo yung tao, nagagalit ka. Ano? Yung parang, aywan ko ba, bakit may mga ganun talaga? It's normal na wala namang ginagawa. Pero the way you think kasi, that's the way. Kaya kailangan um, tanungin natin yung sarili natin, mag-introspect tayo, reflect, make, let's make a reflection. Bakit ko kaya nararamdaman itong galit na to sa taong ito? Ano kaya nagkakos nito ba? ito yung from nararamdaman ko. There's a possibility bigla marirealize mo ay kaya pala ako ganito dito kasi naiinggit pala ako. Nararamdaman ko pala na I feel na threat siya sa akin. Uh, nararamdaman ko na parang kinukumpit niya ako. So pero yun nasa isip mo lang, 'di ba? Nasa isip mo lang siya. Pero ang reality, hindi naman pala ganun. Hindi naman pala ganun yun. Nami misinterpret mo lang yun. So in that case, kailangan ma-reframe natin siya. Kailangan magkaroon ng uh, pagbabago o pagbatiko sa ating mga naiisip. Maraming iba't ibang pananaw na hamon na iyong kinakaharap. May pananaw na maaaring nagdudulot ng mabigat na emosyon. At may mga pananaw na nagdudulot ng pagkagaan ng loob. Maaaring maging neutral lang o wala lang. Subukang i-reframe ang iyong pananaw tungkol sa hamon ng iyong kinakaharap at isulat mo ang bagong pananaw sa bago. Something like that. Parang... Iset natin yung mind natin, ano ba yung magiging pananaw mo at ano ba yung positibong pananaw mo because of what is really happening. Another, magkaroon ng ora sa sarili, di ba? At pamilya at mga kaibigan. Sige nga, pwede ko bang marinig sa group, sa ating mga kasamahan dito? Paano ba tayo magkaroon ng ng time sa ating sarili? Sige nga, sir kayo, paano kayo nagkakaroon ng time sa inyong sarili po? 
Uh, actually, sir, that's a great question. Po. Well, usually, po, a time for myself, what I usually do po, the moment I wake up and then, uh, bago po ako kumain po talaga na almusa, I usually, you know, pray and have my devotion po muna. And then I after po nun, uh, you know po, uh, kain, ligo, and then work from home na po. So I I always put first po talaga yung pag-devotion kasi yun po yung way na kung saan ma, ma, makikita mo yung uh, outlook ni Lord in your life for that day. Ayun po. Yes, of course. That's true, no? Um, yun yung mga bagay na pwede natin gawin. Ako, I usually practice that, sir, the same thing. Uh, actually, later on, papakita ko sa inyo kung bakit ako natuto magkaroon ng devotion. And I usually pray or pagkagising sa umaga and even at home. So, yun yung mga me time. And yes, of po. course, di ba nagmi-me time tayo? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yung, mag- yung maligo sa gabi. Actually, that's actually one of my things na ano, parang... <laughs> the rituals na ginagawa kasi it helps me. Kasi what I'm trying to say here is that yung way ko to overcome my stress and the how to manage my stress and to deal with it is definitely different from yours. Ganon din sa iba't ibang mga tao. Ano? Yung iba daw kumakain ng sweets, sabi dito, it, it helps kasi gawa ng energy. Ano? Uh, kaya lang, um, hindi rin siya healthy kung lagi tayong kakain ng mga chocolates. Kasi yes, sugar naman yung tumataas. But of course, Ah, uh, yung moderate lang ng pagkain. That's my happiness with chocolate. Right po, please, sabi ni Ma'am Emilita. Yes, ito naman po sir yung mga sagot po ng ating mga viewers po in YouTube. Do the things that you love. Meron naman right. po nagsabi, writing a journal. Ayan, that makes ah. them happy. Yung me time daw nila. Watch K-drama. Nako feeling ko sir, and, <laughs> dahil po sa naging pandemic po, ang dami po atang natapos na K-drama ang ating mga viewers po. Na, oh. Nakompleto na po na ata nila yung mga series sa Netflix. Ayan. Ayan po. May nagsabi naman po, unahin talaga si Lord kasi nagiging smooth ang lahat. Gawin yung mga bagay na mas mag-grow ka at makakatulong sa ibang tao. At may nagsabi din po, gardening and enough sleep to make yourself good or to make your to make yourself feel good po. Yan po ang ating uh, sagot po ng ating mga ilang viewers po sa YouTube. Yes, yung iba pumupunta na supermarket. Actually, ako din eh, pag, before the pandemic, kanong wala pang pandemic, talagang one of my me time, pumunta ng mall, pero hindi naman ako nabili. Ayun naman yun, yung parang, uh, you just go along lang, parang uh, window shopping, pauli-uli ka lang sa mall, nakakatuwa lang na narilibang ka after going, after mong manggaling ng office. Kasi alam nyo, ako personally ha, uh, hindi lang ang pagpag pag, pag ay ginagawa sa lamay. <laughs> That's my personal choice, oh, ano? Yung pagpapagpag yes, after going out, paglabas sa office, at least pumunta ng somewhere para mm. pagdating mo doon na relieve ka na. Pero you can also do na ano, yung mind grounding. Na before you enter your home, uh, you try to relax your mind, you just try to think of a color, something like that. And then mm-hmm. saka ka pumasok para ma- ma-refresh ka lang. And of course ma-remove yung hat mo. Kasi sometimes, ano, lalo na kapag every week, pag, dito sa, ba- pag sa office, ganito ka. Pag mo sa bahay, minsan nadadala mo yung pagiging, alam ba ba, school head ka. Pag yes po. Pag sa bahay, para okay. ka pa rin principal. O kayo, pagdating mo sa bahay, para ka pa rin teacher na, alam mo yun, uh, sometimes kasi we have to separate our work and have to separate our Uh, yung buhay natin sa tahanan natin. Something like yes. that. Dr. Alba, remind ko lang po ulit po yung audio niyo po, sir. And of course, we should also have time with our friends, di ba? Sir, yung audio niyo po. Ay, sorry, sorry. Ayan, And sir. And of course, <laughs> yung magkaroon din tayo ng time sa ating family, di ba, family bonding. At yes, saka, po, sir. of course, uh, nagkaroon din Ha? Okay na? Um, yes po sir, okay na po. Okay na po yung audio nyo po. Yes, okay na yes, sir yung audio ko po. Yes sir, Ayan. loud and, and clear if, po. And of course, magkaroon tayo ng time sa ating mga family family. So patatagi ng tiwala sa sarili sa pamamagitan ng the first one, pag-alam at pagtanggap sa sariling kakayahan at kahinaan. Accept natin kung ano ba yung ating mga kahinaan at ano ba yung ating mga kalakasan. Pagsisikap, ano na mapabuti ang kakayahan at mapalakas ang mga kahinaan, isipin natin kung ito yung weakness natin, ano-ano pa ba yung pwede natin gawin para ma-strengthen yung ating mga weakness, alright? And of course, um, manudo ng Netflix, online games with kids. Wow, love, love in the Lord. So pagsisikap na mapabuti ang mga kakayahan at mapalakas ang kahinaan. 
alamin ang kakayahan sa buhay pagdating sa mga material na bagay para hindi tayo lagi nagnanais ng masigit pa. We have to determine, ano, ano ba yung mga wants, ano ba yung ating mga needs, something like that. Kasi ito yung mga nagkukos sa atin para mag-isip at mamroblema sa mga bagay-bagay. Kasi sometimes, for example, bumibili tayo ng mga bagay-bagay na hindi naman ito necessary, na kailangan natin. Binili lang natin kasi need lang natin. Tapos, eventually, for example, na nagsinwipe mo siya sa credit card, so hindi naman siya need, binili mo lang siya, dahil once nga siya. So, nagkukos sa atin, ano, na lalong mag-isip kasi uh, yung paano natin babayaran, something like that. Kasi nga, um, hindi natin nabalanse eh, kung ano ba yung mga needs at saka ano ba yung ating mga wants, something like that, na kailangan natin uh, pagnilay-nilayan din po. Then, panatiling mapayapa ang pag-iisip at damdamin. We have to be positive, maging positibo sa buhay, according to Philippine Mental Health. Lagi tayo magpasalamat sa mga biyaya na ating natatanggap. We have to be grateful and of course, magdasal at magdiwala sa Diyos. Humingi din tayo ng tulong sa ating pamilya, kaibigan o sa profesional sa mga nakararanasang problema kung kinakailangan. So as I said, uh, wag tayong mahiya na humingi ng tulong sa ating mga... Uh, ay, nawala yung screen ko. Wait lang, sir. We are... Uh, inaayos na po namin okay. yung naging technical difficulty po. Pasensya na po. All right. So, humingi tayo ng tulong sa mga profesional. Uh, at of course, um, ang DOH, ano, ang ating mga health center, meron naman po tayong mga resident psychiatrist na naan doon na pwede po natin puntahan. And even DSWD, meron din po tayong mga in-house psychologist na pwede tayong magpa-schedule po sa kanila. And of course, our very own, meron din po tayo sa ating division, ng ating mga DRRM, we have the PFA, or, uh, PFA provider po doon, na pwede po din sila ang ating mga katulong and of course, our mga medical officers natin na naan dyan sa ating mga division office. And of course, sa regional office, meron din po kayo. Wait po kayo. Wait po kayo dito na psychosocial support group. And the regional office, the region itself, ay meron din po tayong tinatawag na Regional Field Technical Assistance Team for Psychosocial Support Group. So may mga group po kami, ang composition po niyaan, kami po na social support group plus the DRRM ng mga divisions. Nagsama-sama po kaming lahat or remote psychological first aid, especially doon sa mga tao na walang malapitan. So, yun po yung ating ginagawa para matulungan natin itong mga taong ito, lalo na yung ating mga kasamahan sa DepEd. Tandaan. Sir, Sir Alba, hello po. Yes? Sir Alba, po. Uh, pwede nyo pong ulitin po ulit yung pag-present po ng PowerPoint? Okay na po. Yes okay. po. Pwede nyo po bang ulitin po ulit? Alright, sige. Uh, Alright, present na. Oops. Okay. Ayan. So, ang kalutan Okay, sir, we're kalusugan. good to go po. Maraming salamat po. You're welcome. So, ang kalusugan pang kaisipan ng mental health ay kasing halaga ng iba pang aspeto ng ating buhay. Okay? Huwag po natin ipagpasa walang bahala. Dahil ang kalusugan pang kaisipan ay kapayapaan ng ating buhay. So, this is now the... Uh, Uh, on how to maintain productivity, especially if we are all working from home. This is from the Industrial Psychological uh, Organizational Psychology Division of the Psychological Association of the Philippines. I just share ko lang para uh, we have to maintain our uh, productivity, especially working from home. Maintain routines, okay? So kung ano po yung ginagawa natin before going to school, going to the office is still the same. Hindi po natin dapat baguhin. Kung tayo po ay nagbibihes ng maayos when we go to our schools, when we go to our offices, it's the same thing. Huwag po natin isipin, ay, nasa bahay lang naman ako, makapagsando na lang, it's not that. Kasi ano po ang purpose nito? Ang purpose po nito, ng ating ginagawang mga routine, it signals our brain to be ready for work. Kaya ako po, when I was in the uh, work from home, nag-assemble po ako ng isang area sa aking tahanan, sa aming bahay, I mean. And uh, uh, nag-set up ako doon ng table and chair na every time na may work ako, I usually go there. And the same thing, kung ang routine ko every morning, kung mainom ako ng kape, nagbibihis ako, hindi, mo, hindi ko naman sinasabi na mag-uniform. But of course, na andun pa rin yung naka-office naka attire pa din ako when I go, I usually go to my 
to my post in the in, in my respective home sa akin tahanan i mean kasi uh, it signals my brain na ready for work at ako nag-experiment din ako ano nagtry ako na mag-work na nasa ibabaw ng kama na naandun yung laptop and andun yung mga documents ko na ginagawa uh, for me it's not effective talaga kasi parang tinatama yung may psychological effect pala talaga siya na tinasting ko sa sarili ko na na hindi ka nagiging productive pag ganun yung yung environment kasi ang tendency is to relax and to you know to sleep something like that and then also communicate your capacity uh, sabihin lang natin kung yung kaya natin in our uh, accomplishment ano kasi kapag nilagay natin yung mga bagay na alam natin na hindi natin kaya i-produce within the week uh, definitely magkukos lang to ng stress sa ating lahat all right and then create modified schedule so definitely um magbo-work tayo sabihin natin kung kailan tayo magbo-work ako and personally sa FTAD yung mga kasamahan ko dito meron lang ako uh, request sa kanila na every 9 o'clock dapat naka-online sila ng 9 and 3 o'clock so 9 to 10 and 3 o'clock to 4 so may 2 hours ako hinihiling hindi na impossible po na maghapon tayo naka-online ano So, may hinihiling ako sa kanilang time. So, that's the time actually na nag-uusap-usap kami during that particular time. Lahat kami ay naka-online doon sa aming site. And then, technologically creativity. To use various applications to remote connect with your colleagues. Ano? Eh, Siyempre, tingnan natin ano ba yung mga possible na pwedeng gamitin online uh, tool para uh, or system or program na pwede natin gamitin na lahat tayo ay pwede doon. Then exercise your body then ano and then of course prolonged isolation impacts productivity. So aside from doing that, uh, online inter uh, instead of doing the activity na talagang uh, when the face to face so we can do in online interaction ano kahit uh, spending with the time with the family and if even yung uh, yung mga may pets diba to unwind and provide connection also and create stability in these trying times. So we can also do the mindful breathing So we can do that, this, kasi ito po mindful breathing na to, uh, it helps us to calm our body and mind and we will prevent hyperventilation and of course, it will help us to be relaxed and it help us to focus on our body and not on our thoughts. Yung awareness natin is all about the functions of our body or I mean, uh, focus on our body but not about our thoughts. So very simple lang itong gawin. Just find yourself, uh, your, uh, find your safe space, ano, and to do it. Pwede ngayon, for example. And then, you may take, uh, you may like to close your eyes on focus on one thing or color, something like that. And then, try to focus on your breathing. Let's do it. Parang inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and then of course observe your tummy and chest as it rises and falls. And if and in your mind wanders, it's okay. Acknowledge and go back. And you may say coming words or phrase every exhale. Example: I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. So when you can do this at least once a day, or it becomes a habit. You can do this when you feel anxious. Ano po kung tayo na and then overwhelmed with thoughts. And before sleeping, we can also do this. And before, or whenever, or wherever you like it. Then, we can also do the grounding technique kapag naman anxiety, kung meron tayong nararamdamang takot, or meron tayong mga naiisip na kung ano-ano sa ating mga sa ating thoughts. So, if pwede natin gawin, try to pick five out, uh, pick out five things you can see around, okay? And then focus on the details. And then four, Pick out four things you can feel, and then pick out three things or three distinctive sounds around you, and pick out two things you can smell. Isipin lang natin to mga bagay na to, and have something handy uh, with you like gum, candy, or small snacks for this step. So, bakit kailangan natin maggrounding? Because grounding is a way to deal with uh, worry or anxiety. Paano ba na? Paano to nakakatulong sa atin? Because um, you are actually um, con uh, no, you are helped to control them and turn our attentions. I know this helps us to turn our attentions and refocus on the present. So instead, nag nagpo-focus tayo dun sa ating anxiety or sa ating iniisip, 
So this help us to to refocus our mind to something. Nada divert yung ating uh, attention. All right. And okay, you can also do this. This is actually the emotional uh, uh, tapping points. Ano? The EFT. So ang ginagawa natin dito. Um, para to ay yung uh, tawag natin. Um, uh, ano? Reflex. Ano? So you can do. Itatap natin dito. For example, the karate chop. Ano dito? So sasabihin mo lang. Even though I am experiencing a lot of stress right now, I am deeply, completely accept myself. So three times. Mag-start tayo dito, and there are nine points to tap. So from here, down to the nine. I know this is according to the Psychological Association of the Philippines. So, yes, ma'am, that's true. Parang chakra po. So, pwedeng gawin something like this. Ito yung last part. Tapping of the head. And while doing it, you have to recite, to recite this. And even though I am experiencing a lot of stress right now, I am deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I am experiencing a lot of stress right now, I am deeply and completely accept myself. The second, the eyebrow, this one. Even though I am experiencing a lot of stress right now, I deeply and completely accept myself, so forth and so on until you finish, until you reach this one. So this is a suggestion. Pwede natin po itong gawin if you feel like to do it, especially if you are emotionally distressed, you can do this. And especially if you are, you feel you feel anxious, distress, something like that, pwede po natin i-apply. And then, uh, we can also do this. Can we turn on your microphone? Everyone, please turn on your microphone. So you can do this. Everyone can do this. I this one. May I be safe? May I be safe? May I be safe? I Okay, you cannot turn off your microphone. Thank you so much, sir. Again, we would like to. Again, po. Thank you so much, po. Again, we would like to remind all of our participants who are joining us today in Google Meet. Please mute now their microphones, po, para po. Uh, patuloy po ang ating speaker. And I hope that all of our participants in YouTube po eh, sumunod po dun sa ating ginawang um, pag-recite po, katulad po na ginawa ni sir. Thank you so much po. Sige, sir. Alright, so this po. is actually, alright, thank you. So this is the nurturing strengths. Ano? We have to set our minds that may we be safe, may we be healthy, maybe I love, we feel love, maybe may you be safe, may you be healthy, may you love, and I, you feel love. May we be safe, may we be healthy, may we be loved and be loved. We have to tell ourselves this way. Para at least um, it will actually help us to nurture strengths. Of course, this is also one of my favorite Bible verses. God will bless you if you don't give up when your faith is being tested. He will reward you with a glorious life just as he rewards everyone who loves him. So I just want to share this picture. I usually share this during my session. Ayan. So I am a very... Ano, I am very positive and I just want to share this picture so that everyone will uh, ano tawag dam? I will know na talagang in every problem there is a solution and I just want to tell everyone na uh, because of this uh, what happened to me two years ago I was uh, in heart implant ano, na parang na-realize ko na lahat ng problema may, may solution I am sharing this so that everyone may impart sa inyo na lahat ng problema dumarating sa buhay niyo ninyo ay may solution. And always remember na kapag naalala nyo yung picture ko, pag naalala nyo ako, marirealize nyo that, oh, um, lahat ng problema may solution. And of course, a suicide is not a solution to every problem. Um, in this case, kasi I was diagnosed with thoracic aortic aneurysm and I was given days to live during that time. And I usually smoke before. Baka may naninigarilyo sa inyo. I'm telling you, stop smoking na rin. Um, I was diagnosed and I was given days to live. Hindi ko pinansin yun, ano, kasi parang wala naman ako nararamdaman. That's the case. 
then instead of malus ng hope, instead na mas stress, instead na magmukmok, ano? Uh, I find ways. I find ways on how to to survive. I find my ways on on papano ba magagamot something like that. And the solution is a heart implant. So, um, with the help of my family and friends, definitely na naging successful yung yung operation. And of course, because of doing it so, instead of living with days, that was December 17. I was given days to live. Hindi na ako abot ng Pasko. So. Nung napalitan yan, instead of days, umabot ako ng 20 years. So, 18 years more to live. Kaya parang I am so blessed kasi. And this also this picture also tells me na, na talagang God answers prayer. And um, I am a Roman Catholic. But of course, um, I just want to share that how prayers really ano, answer. I mean, uh, that God really answers prayers and of course through prayers talaga na, na, na overcome yung mga problema ganito and that is why i'm very positive na pag may dumarating na problema sa buhay wala nang ibang uh, kumbaga on my end wala nang malaking problema darating sa buhay kasi this is actually a matter of life and death pero naka-survive so kayo din in your case kung meron kayong problema all you just pray and of course try to look for a solution and definitely lahat ng problema ay merong solusyon Yun yung message na gusto ko i-impart to everyone na lahat ng problema ay merong solusyon. Alright? Do not lose hope. You just uh, uh, continue praying. Something like that. And I also do this. I'm also with uh, uh, with the Philippine Mental Health Association. I am part of the volunteer ng, to provide psychological first aid. I usually also read books. Something like that. And I also work here in the Department of Education. Then I just want also to share this slide. I know you have to slow down. Diba? Slow down. Um, yun yung learnings na gusto ko i-share din sa inyo. Ano dami-dami ko before na pinagtuturuan. And I enjoy kasi eh. I enjoy doing it. Pero kapag pala yun yung life mo before, hanap hanapin mo. That's why I'm also now with uh, with BSU, Batangas State University. But I only handle a subject. I just handle a subject because uh, talagang hinahanap-hanap natin. Pero ang sinasabi ko dito, we have to slow down. Wag nating uh, we should not overload ourselves, ano? Wag nating i-overload yung sarili natin. We have to keep calm and always be positive. Be very positive and take it easy. Wag nating madadaliin ang mga bagay-bagay and unplug ourselves to negativity. 'Di ba? Unplug ourselves. Enjoy life. We have to enjoy life. Guys, life is too short, 'di ba? Wag tayong mas tadang magpakastress, wag tayo magproblema sa mga bagay-bagay na hindi naman natin kontrol yah with the barangay yah bakak kayo ay makasuhan, alright? and then take a deep breath, de ba parang yung mindful breathing ang sarap, de ba ang sarap na nagdi deep breathing tayo and time to relax, time to relax and of course go outside when you feel stressed, ako dito sa office, kapag ako na stress na, yung parang, ah, hindi na ako, mak kasi pag stress tayo, hindi tayo makapag-isip, ano, makapag-concentrate. So, I usually go outside. I usually go outside. Pero kung halimbawa, hindi naman ako makapunta sa labas, tinitingnan ko lang yung bintana ko. Tinitingnan ko lang yung bintana ko. I just want to share you. To share it with you. So, ayan. Ayan. So, tumitingin lang ako sa labas. Nare-relax na ako kasi that's actually my way of uh, of uh, relaxing. Ano yung makakita ng mga puno? Yung mga puno, something like that. Pero wala akong halaman sa loob ng office kasi bawal in, for ISO. Pinagbabawal ng office ang may halaman sa loob. And then of course, because that's our standard, then of course, go outside. You take a smile. Ano? You smile. And then of course, meditate. So with whatever religion, kung ano man ang religion natin, uh, we can, we pray, ano? We can pray. And of course, I also do this. God, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Because we live in a world where there is so much beyond our power to change things. So keep reminding yourself, don't stress over what you cannot change. Okay? Don't stress over what you cannot change. 
And another, don't stress over what you cannot change. Give life your best shot. And at the end of the day, sit back with a smile and be very humble of who you are. So with that, thank you so much to God be the glory and the great things has done. So these are my references. Nakalimutan kong ilagay dito yung uh, Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association. Alright, so ito po yung aking mga sources na pinagkunan. So thank you so much mo for for tuning in bantawag pag webinar. <laughs> for listening and for watching. Ano? And uh, I'm ready now for the open forum if you have questions. And if it is something personal, you can chat me personally po. Thank you so much, Dr. Michael Alba, for sharing your insights to our participants. Actually, sir, I, I only have, uh, I, I also have takeaways for from your talk, and uh, let me share this to you and to also to our participants that uh, number one, it is very important to look for new outlets of stress para maiwasan ng stress that can lead to depression. Another thing is managing your stress properly leads to positivity. And uh, totoo po talaga, sir, na the moment that we learn how to deal or how to handle our stress, it can lead to positive outlook in life. Makakabalik ka ulit sa pag-work, makakabalik ka ulit sa pag-deal ng uh, problems in the family. Also, instead of entertaining the stress, look for a solution. Actually, that's a good thing, sir, because you said na lahat ng problema may solution. And uh, one thing, sir, that I also learn from you is uh, whenever there's a problem yes we know that there's a there's a solution at lagging kumapit kay lord that's yeah. true yes po and now it's time for us to have our question and answer portion so now sir i have here a question uh, by the way po uh, a quick shout out po ulit po sa ating mga participants from mayamot national high school marcelino national high school old boso boso national high school riza national high school maximo el gatlabayan memorial memorial national high school muntindilao national Hi na, na muntindilao national high school and mambuga national high school Okay, sir, now let's proceed to our question and answer portion. This is a question from our viewer from YouTube. Uh, from YouTube. Uh, it's from Sir June Magbanwa. Okay. Ganda po kasi, sir, ng question niya. So, his question is, paano po hihingi ng tulong sa mga professionals or nakakatanda sa work kung sila mismo yung toxic at hirap kausapin? Very challenging yung question, sir. Again, ulitin ko lang po, paano hihingi ng tulong sa mga professionals or nakakatanda sa work kung sila mismo yung toxic at hirap kausapin. Kasi sir, may mga ganitong klaseng tao talaga and may mga times po na sila pa yung mga superiors natin sa work. So, paano po ba natin, paano po ba sila makakahingi ng tulong sa mga ganitong klase ng tao um, wow. lalo na po sa may mga superiors po nila? Okay, para hindi naman mental health related yan. <laughs> Alright. nga sir, medyo ano po eh, medyo Medyo personal po yung question. Oh, parang, <laughs> medyo, medyo ano po siya, personally um, work-related. Okay, actually, ganito yun. Ano, if your concern is all about work-related, and it seems that uh, ang problema ay within, within your organization, within your organization, at wala kayong malapitan, I'm not pertaining to mental health right now, ah. um, you can go to us, you can go to, uh, to the regional office, or you can go to the division. Kung school ito, kung school to, you can go to the division and you can go to the regional office to address the issues and concerns. Kasi um, I do not, I don't, I don't know kung ano yung situation. But of course, um, meron tayong sinasunod na ano, na mga protocols on that. So kung si principal yung concern, you go to the division. If the division is concerned, you go to the region. And of course, if the concern is the regional office, you go to the uh, central office. So, yun po yun. And of course, um, dealing with the person, syempre, ang tanong kasi doon, how will you deal? Ano? Um, before of the work uh, professional relationship with our superiors. No matter what, no matter what, kung ano ang, kung no matter what, still, um, superior pa rin natin po yun. Yes, sir. Thank you so much po. So, ngayon po sa ating mga participants, tandaan nyo po yung sinabi po ni sir. Lapit po tayo sa ating division office. Kung, uh, kung di pa rin po enough, meron po tayong regional office. Huwag na lang po sanang umabot sa central office. Yung mga ganyang klase may... ng ating mga problema. <laughs> At saka may pag-uusap naman. I mean, um, yes, pwede sir. lang mag-uusapan within the level, within the school. And of course, 
uh, sila naman, uh, especially ang atin naman mga school heads, of course, uh, lahat tayo, ano, hindi lang school heads, hindi lang taga-division, hindi kami taga-region. We understand people naman. And of course, kung ano ba po yung ating nararamdaman on that on that point, uh, pag-usapan. Mapag-usapan po. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, also another question po from our viewer is, uh, since the mostly daw po sa kanila ay work from home, can you give them at least parang one tip lang po para medyo maiwasan daw po yung parang pagiging hapo sa uh, pagiging, huh? pag, yung pagiging hapo, yung parang medyo stress po sa work from home po? Hapo? What's hapo? Yung ano, yung, yung hindi makahinga? Parang ganun, sir. Yung parang medyo ano na, nasa stress na sila, masyado na silang overwhelmed po, ganun po. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, uh, actually, regard then the matter kasi especially kapag nakaharap ka sa computer ng more than mga 4 hours or 3 hours na nakaharap ka sa computer kaya ako medyo malayo ako ano at ah, talaga nakakakos yan kaya mostly you set your time lang alam mo naman sa sarili mo pag nararamdaman mo siya kasi you stop doing it stop facing your computer facing um or uh, stop facing your laptop and of course medyo talagang possible na medyo malayo-layo ka sa iyong laptop kasi it causes eh kaya ako kung may papasin meron akong pillow Mm, well, sir, heart po talaga. Heart it's from the heart center. Ano, Opo. Uh, pag nagko-computer talaga ako ng matagal, meron ako nakilagay sa dibdib ko. Actually, it was advised to me by my uh, my cardiologist. Kasi not only that, ano, even yung mata natin, kaya as much as possible, iwasan natin ang too much na nakaharap sa sa computer. Especially kung naka-work from home. And also, if you feel stressed na may ginagawa ka, especially kung nagagawa ka ng documents mo, stop doing it. Ganun lang yan. Um, very simple na, especially kung, ano bawa, nagagawa ka ng exemplar. Exemplar talaga yung example natin. Ano? Yes, po, nagagawa sir. ka ng exemplar. And then you feel stressed na at talagang ayaw mo nang gawin. Nababarino ka na. You know what's nababarino? Naiirita ka na. That's the, ano, mm -hmm. yan yung symptoms na stress ka na, naiirita ka na. At nagmamali-mali na yung sinusulat mo. Ipahinga nyo muna po yung inyong isipan. Ipahinga natin yung sarili natin. At if we are ready, that's the time na bumalik tayo. The reason why, wala tayo, maku wala tayo makukompose kapag tayo ay stress. Okay po. Sir, um, may question po tayo, uh, participant po from Muntindilao National High School. Now, if we have students po na who are suffering from severe depression, may right ba daw po si teacher to handle the problem even if we are not licensed guidance counselors? Ano po ang naging ano na? I mean, ano na ang kanyang manifestations? Nagsa-self-harm na ba siya? Actually, sir, yun lang po yung tanong po kasi ng ating, yun lang po yung ah. naging tanong po ng ating viewer po. So, kung meron daw po bang right si teacher to handle the problem, even if daw si teacher is not a, a licensed or a registered guidance counselor. Sir, nakamute po kayo. Sir, nakamute po kayo. Okay, so wait lang po, mga participants po, while si Dr. Alba is just fixing his um, computer po, his connection po, wait lang po. So again po, for our participants po, keep posting your questions po para po later po masagot po natin. Yung pong, uh, masagot, masagot po ng ating speaker yung mga questions po ninyo. So keep those, keep those uh, questions coming po. Sige po, habang hinihintay po natin yung ating speaker, pwede po kayong munang tumayo-tayo, mag-stretch-stretch, uh, mag uminom ng water. Please don't forget to drink always your water. Ayan po, this is not a paid advertisement, pero shout out po sa Wilkins Pure. Ayan. And of course, again, we would like to shout out po yung... <laughs> ating uh, mga participants po again from Marcelino National High School. Maraming salamat po sa pag-join na yung uh, araw na to. We also have from Old Bosoboso National High School, Riza National High School teachers and participants from Maxibo El Gatlabayan Memorial National High School, Mundindilao National High School and Mambuga National High School. And of course, our host, uh, Mayamot National High School. Pinabati ko din po ang aking uh, butihing uh, very energetic po na principal. Hello po Sir Agustin, magandang umaga po sa inyo. Poging-pogi po talaga si Sir, kahit nasa Google Meet pa rin. Mawala <laughs> ako, hello. Yes, hello po Sir, medyo narinig na po namin kayo, mahina lang po yung inyong audio. Sir, paano ako, gusto ko kasi yung laptop, ang ginagamit ko, ah, uh, 
Sige, oh, wait lang po. Sige po sir, while we are waiting po, wait lang po. Um, sa ating po mga participants, sandali lang po uh, because we're just experiencing uh, minor technical difficulties. At para po sa ating mga participants po na online sellers po, sige po, maaari na po kayong mag-plug na inyong mga products pero wag po ngayon dito. <laughs> wag po live po ha, <laughs> kasi po tayo po ay nakakaroon ng technical difficulties. Sige po, keep those, uh, keep those questions coming po. Yan po, ang dami na po tayong mga questions po dito sa ating uh, YouTube forum. Naku, kanta daw po muna ako. Sir, wag po. Baka po uh, umulan po. Nasa mayamot pa naman po ako ngayon. Mahirap na po, sir. <laughs> Sige po, para po habang hinihintay po natin kung sino po yung mga gustong magpa-shoutout po, pwede po kayong magpa-shoutout po. O nga po pala, happy birthday po sa ating acting assistant principal po, Ma'am Janice Maravilla, happy birthday po. Ayan po, nagpapa-shoutout po si Ma'am Gaston po, si Ma'am Willie Gaston. At ang uh, pinapashoutout niya po is uh, available na available na po sa kanyang tindahan ng kanyang wine peanut butter. So for more information po, PM nyo na lang po siya. Ayan po, request daw po ng Sir Jonathan Domingo. Intermission number daw po muna mula kay Sir Agustin. Nako, syempre po. Ilalive na po ba natin Sir Agustin? Ready po ba ang team? Ay, okay. <laughs> Sir Sian. Yes po, Ma'am Danios. Sabi ni Sir Albo, accept daw ninyo yung isang account niya. Okay po, sige po. Thank you so much, Ma'am. Okay, as of now po kasi wala po daw pong lumalabas. Pero sige po, wait lang po. Ayan po, sabi po ng Mark, ni Sir Mark Anthony Daza, pa-shoutout naman po. Muli po sa lahat po ng mga teachers po from Marcelino National High School, isang magandang araw po sa inyo at maraming salamat po sa pag-tune sa amin po ngayong umagang po sa ating webinar po for today. <laughs> Ayan po, so far po yung ating po mga participants sa ating YouTube forum ay mga nagtatanong at yung pong iba po sa kanila ay sinasagot rin po yung mga questions. Maraming salamat po. Ayan po, Sir Michael, are you there po? Okay na po kayo? Okay, kind of accept. Uh, again po, we just like to uh, inform all of our participants who are now asking questions. Uh, baka po isipin po ninyo lahat po ay may entertain po natin. As much as possible po, eh, we will do our best po to entertain, of course, your questions. Pero in case po na hindi po masagot po yung mga tanong po ninyo, sabi po ng Sir Michael Alba, I mean, ng Dr. Michael Alba, you can send him a PM po para po masagot po yun yung mga questions po. Pero we will do our best po na masagot po yun yung mga tanong. Yan ang ganda po ng mga questions po na lumalabas po dito. Ano ang mga sinyalis na ano ang sinyalis na ang tao ano ang sinyalis ng tao ano ba to? Sorry po, medyo magulo po yung tanong. Ano daw po ang sinyalis na ang tao ay may pinagdadaan ng severe depression? Ayan. So how to determine if someone has a mental health problem? What are the signs and the symptoms? Yan, maraming salamat po sa mga magagandang tanong.
By the way po, a quick shout out po sa ating mga principals po na who are joining us today from other schools. Hello po, Sir Steve Casaway. Hello po, magandang umaga po sa inyo. Si Ma'am Digna Orge from Montindilao National High School. Ma'am Rachel Abihero po from Riza National High School. Hello po, magandang umaga po sa inyo. We also have Ms. Thelma Colocar from Old Busobuso National High School. Ma'am Annelin P. Raimundo po from Mambuga National High School. And of course, Mr. Rodolfo Gonzalez po from Marcelino National High School. Okay, so we're still trying po to connect with, uh, with Dr. Michael Alba po. And I hope that you are still patient uh, joining us today. Ayan, hello, 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 hello. Yes, hello sir. Hello? You are now live. Hello po sir. Naririnig na po namin kayo loud and clear. <laughs> Grabe. Grabe. Opo, iba po Sabi talaga sir. Kapag, controllable to mga to. <laughs> Opo, iba po talaga sir. Ang, uh, pag ganito po talaga tayo sir, pag live, ganito po talaga tayo sa showbiz. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I'm using two laptops kasi. Yes, uh, but the question was, the first one, oo, kasi dito, ito yung isang laptop na ginagamit ko. Ayan, so kasi ganito, no? Yung question kanina regarding sa teacher na hindi license, unang-una, uh, sa we have to ano no to utilize the child abuse the ano tawag tam handa manual for handling ano yung mga cases ano. So in that case, uh, I may suggest na gamitin din natin yung intake sheet for that. And mm -hmm. if we have the registered our registered guidance counselor, uh, I refer po natin as much as possible if you are a teacher, uh, refer the the case to the school head immediately. Uh, and of course, the school head naman, ay alam naman natin na may intake sheet po tayong kailangan gawin. And of course, the parents must be informed. Maraming salamat, sir. Now, there's another question po in, from, uh, from one of our viewers po here in YouTube that how do we know, paano daw po natin malalaman if our student is now already experiencing mental health problems, lalo na po, ta lalo na po ngayon na we are experiencing this uh, COVID-19 pandemic? So how can okay. the so first, identify? Yun po yung tanong po. All right. So basically, ang ating uh, common, ang pinangkang common kasi na pinagsisimula ng mga mental issues mm -hmm. ay depression. All right. So based dito, meron po kasi tayong ginagamit na MH Gap Intervention Guide. So meron pong sudden change. Ano, first and foremost, uh, may sudden change dun sa behavior. Yeah, yun yung mga basic symptoms na pwede natin makita na nakikita natin na nagbabago kung dati um, for example kung dati jolly siya masayahin siya eventually nagkaroon ng change yes, saka sa mga social media makikita din natin sa social media kung before this particular person is keep on posting ng mga events in his life or her life mm -hmm. and then eventually nagkaroon ng sudden change na parang hindi na siya masyado nagpo-post ah, okay, um, meron may something is wrong Something is wrong, so we can check on that. And also, um, may mga symptoms tayo, ano yung mga reduced concentration and attention according to MHGAP. Secondly, yung pagre-reduce or bumaba yung self-esteem and self-confidence ng tao, ng estudyante. And then, uh, ideas of guilt and unworthiness. Commonly, maririnig natin sa kanila na parang wala na akong pag-asa, parang yun yung mga nakiririnig natin sa kanila na unusual na mga unusual. So, yun yung possibility na meron silang pinagdadaanan na problema. Okay, Saka disturbed sila, salamat. definitely. Okay po. Maraming salamat po. So, I hope po yung naging sagot po ng ating speaker ay nakatulong po sa inyo. Sir, another question po. Uh, ang pagiging mainitin ba ng ulo ay sintomas ba ng imbalanced mental health? Alright. Yung mga mainitin ng ulo natin, there's a possibility baka may mood swing. May mood swing or um, depende yan ano, kasi kapag tayo ay uh, nagtitrigger, may nagtitrigger kasi kung bakit umiinit ang ulo ng isang tao, hindi ho ba? So kapag ito ay madalas at very basic yung ikinagagalit natin, um, 
there's a possibility na itong taong ito, hindi ko kasi masabi kasi hindi ko siya kaharap personally, meron siyang mood swing, uh, possible, baka it may lead to bipolar syndrome. Mm-hmm. Diba? Sa mga ganun. So, better din po kung ganun yung nararamdaman natin. At sa tingin nung nagtanong is, uh, nung, nung nagtanong is unusual on his end, uh, I may suggest also to consult na a, to a psychologist to to maintain, to manage yung galit or yung anger. Para maturuan ng anger management. Okay, sir. Maraming salamat po. Now, there's another question po here, sir. Uh, medyo maganda po yung tanong po na to. Where can teachers go if they need help regarding depression, anxiety, or psychological issues? This is a question from Ms. Chris Rocco Escape. Again po ang question niya, where can teachers go if they need help regarding depression, anxiety, or psychological issues? Ah, okay. Uh, first and foremost po, uh, the division office, of, uh, lahat ng division offices, ano, meron tayong mga DRR, DRRM. Actually, uh, kapartner po natin sila, yung mga DRRM coordinators natin to do the psychological first aid. Pwede po natin silang lapitan. And of course, commonly kasi ng mga naging issues and concerns, kaya po nag-craft or nag-develop ang regional office ng team, ng psychosocial support team na RFTAS, Regional Field Technical Assistance Team, psychosocial support group kasi may mga clients or teachers tayo from that particular division na ayaw nilang uh, magkonsulta doon sa mismong taga-division. The reason why nahihiya sila yung for their identity. So, ginawaan namin, nireshuffle namin sila. So, makikita natin yung sa website kung ano yung pwede yung tawagan. May mga contact numbers po tayo na pwede yung tawagan or i-text. And honestly speaking, yung mga kliyente natin and even the report submitted ng mga DRRs natin tungkol sa online psychosocial uh, support, hindi yeah. naman sila nagbibigay ng kanilang specific names eh. and of course, yung kanilang for personal information, commonly, first name lang ang binibigay kasi nga, um, I know, ayaw din nilang ma-reveal yung kanilang identity kasi natatakot sila or nahihiya sila. So then and again, wag po kayong mahiya you can uh, you can uh, seek help from your DRR coordinator and you can also consult us you can chat me in case open naman yung channel of communications ko po pwede naman po tayo may mga malalapitan po tayo and of course meron din po tayo sa DSWD and DOH okay sir maraming salamat then again si DepEd meron tayo sa region ang at mm-hmm. meron po tayong team composed member po niya ng inyong DRR coordinators Okay po, maraming salamat po, sir. And now, this is our second to the last question kasi napansin ko po, most of our uh, viewers po from the YouTube forum is asking this question, how would you determine if a person is now experiencing a, sed- a severe depression? And paano daw po natin sila matutulungan? Again po, the question is, how would you determine if a person is experiencing a severe depression? At paano daw po natin sila matutulungan? Alright. Napakagandang kwentanong po niyan. Ano? Ang isang tao kasi na mayroong severe depression, hindi mo nang makikita yan pumapasok sa school. First and foremost, there is a sudden change and not only in the behavior but in the physical appearance. Ano? Itong mga talagang severe depressed na tong individuals natin, hindi na yan naliligo. Hindi na yan bumabangon ng kama. Hindi na yan lumalabas ng kanilang mga bahay-bahay. So, mm-hmm. pwede natin gawin doon. Uh, of course, um, based on the the bill naman ng Republic Act 11036, uh, hindi na si DepEd yun, definitely, you know. Uh, what we can do lang in the Department of Education is to refer, to refer that particular individual to the um, to psych- psychologist or psychiatrist. And then and again, sinasabi ko nga po si DOH po, meron po sila. And of course, our health centers, meron po. And then we also have psychologists, in-house psychologists or resident psychologists sa mga DSWD na pwede po natin lapitan. So, yun po yung okay. pwedeng... And of course, ang pwede lang ibigay na tulong ni DepEd is, of course, mag-leave of absence. I-allow naman po natin yun na mag- mag-file ng leave kasi it requires na magkaroon ng rest. And we do not terminate actually employees suffering from depression. As a matter of fact, we have case of uh, uh, depressed teacher actually naka-detailed siya dito sa aming office and uh, in coordination with me pinihinabilin po yung before na meron po ka tayong ganong case na na-detailed kasi uh, nag- nagkaroon ng severe depression pero so far naman ngayon ano, be- before nung bago siya dumating dito 
six tablets ang iniinom niya. Pero ngayon, one tablet na lang. So we are very happy to, to share it with you na the environment in the regional office is really very healthy. <laughs> oh, well, that's great to hear, yeah. sir. Ayun po. So ito na lang po, sir, yung ating huling tanong po. Uh, uh, paano daw po ba natin matutulungan yung ating mga students who are experiencing uh, depression or stress po sa kanilang mga bahay, lalo na po tayo ngayon po ay work from home. Ano daw po ang pwedeng magawa ni teacher na intervention or ano daw po ang pwedeng ibigay na tulong ni teacher para po matulungan pa rin yung bata kahit nasa bahay po yung teacher at nasa bahay po yung estudyante. Ah, okay. So, maganda sir yan. Ano, pwede po tayo magtayo, for example, maglagay sa school ng ating helpline, parang uh, psychosocial support helpline. Mag-develop tayo ng group, a group of teachers, and of course, group of students. Better na meron tayong mga group of students din. And then, ititrain lang natin sila on how to handle, how to handle, or not a training, but uh, an orientation on how to do it. And pwede din po tayong maglagay ng ano, for example, yung uh, number, cellphone number. Mm, yes, sir. Kung saan pwede sila doon mag-text kung may mga problema, something like that. Actually, meron ako isang number na uh, ibinibigay, uh, pero well, hindi talaga siya gumagana. And aware din naman yung kliyente. Ang purpose kasi ng SIM card na yon is that, sabi ko sa client, in case na ikaw ay may nararamdaman problema, meron ka na naiisip na wala ka mapagsabihan, you can text this number. Walang sasagot dyan, pero as at least na, nasabi mo dito sa number na to kung ano yung gusto mong sabihin. So yun yung mga uh, ginagawa natin. And of course, pwede, yun nga as I said, pwede po kayo maglagay ng uh, mag-craft or not mag-craft, mag, um, mag-organize ng group sa inyong school. And pwede din kayo mag-ano ng parang kamustahan, parang kamustahan online kung may mga hmm, online yung ating mga sadyante. Kamusta lang? O kaya kung pwede naman simple na i-text natin sila, o text lang tayo, parang something like that na makatulong sa mga sudyante natin. And Maraming, because of course, ang parent should also be uh, oriented about it. Okay. Thank you so much po, Dr. Alba, for answering all of our questions. Muli po, maraming salamat. At mula po sa ating mga tahanan po, alam po natin na ano, pwede po ba natin palakpakan po ang Dr. Alba for the very wonderful insights that he shared to us this morning in uh, in our webinar on mental health. Maraming salamat, Dr. Alba. And now to... Ay, thank, you thank you so much po. Now to award the Certificate of Recognition and to give our closing remarks for this morning, let us welcome our Chief of the School Governance and Operations Division from the City Schools Division of Antipolo City, Dr. Jonathan P. Domingo.
Terod, Ma'am Telma. Finally, to all our teachers, thank you for joining us. Stay safe, stay strong, and always look at the bright side of life. Labor lang. God bless everyone. Thank you so much, Dr. Jonathan P. Domingo, for that very wonderful message. At Marli, maraming maraming salamat po, Dr. Alba, for the very wonderful insights you have shared to us. Again, wag natin po kakalimutan, mga teachers, pagmamahal sa sarili at kapwa ay mahalaga, lalo ngayon na tayo ay nasa ilalim ng isang pandemia. And again, please don't forget also to accomplish the monitoring and evaluation forms to get your e-certificates later. The link is now posted, or the link will be posted on your screens para po makita po ninyo at para po makapag-evaluate po kayo. At muli isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Again, a quick shout out po to all of our participants. Maraming salamat po sa pag-join sa atin, lalo na po sa ating mga teachers mula sa Marcelino National High School, Old Bosoboso National High School, Riza National High School, Maximo L. Labayan Memorial National High School, Muntindilaw National High School, at Mambuga National High School. Muli, maraming salamat. And this has been your host, Sir Sian, from Mayumot National High High school leaving you with these words stay safe love god love yourself and love others and god bless us all muli magandang araw po sa inyong lahat Naka-open na yung, ano, ha, yung evaluation link na ito. Noted, sir. Okay po. Currently po sa YouTube po, nakadisplay na po yung ating, uh, yung ating evaluation form po. Yung ating link po for the evaluation form. So if ever po, you can browse the YouTube po, our YouTube video and... Uh, bigay po natin po sa ating mga kasama po. Sir Sian? Sir Sian? Sir Sian? Yeah. Sir Sian? Yes po sir, hello po. I'm back uh, po. Na-remind na, na ba ang, ang participants na ang ina-accept lang ng link, evaluation link natin ay DepEd account? Ay, wait lang po sir. Hindi po natin nasabihan po yung iba po. Kasi, <laughs> <laughs> Kasi yun ang ano, uh, high, highly encouraged na gamitin yung ating DepEd account. Kasi ito po ang DepEd activities. Mm -mm. Opo, sorry.
Saya akan mungkin kenapa nak semua.